everyone. Welcome everyone who is new. Uh, we are Legends of Avantress, and this is our Once Upon a Witchlight campaign, episode six. Uh, we do have an announcement. Uh, I want to address the elephant that's not in the room, and oh, that is the tiger that's not in the room. Yeah, there you go. The tiger that's not in the room, and that's Derek. Derek is out of town, and so that means that we are one player short this week. He's in um, Spain for like two and a half weeks. Yeah, yeah he's held up in customs. Time he's held up in customs. They caught him. Customs. And that they sucks, obviously, for people, at least for me as a DM, for people is a sweet spot. But I think that the three of them can handle the session Only on their own. Only two without frogs. We'll miss you, Derek. Uh, if you're watching in Spain, we miss you. Uh. <laughs> anyway, for all of you who have been with us for a while, you know what that means when it comes to the announcements. That means uh, Mikey is doing the announcements. Yes. <laughs> oh, and God. I can't believe that I have to be pulled away from my graphic design passion. <laughs> For this. I can't believe you'd let him do the announcements over me. Wow. Well, well, welcome. God. Friends, family, countrymen. <laughs> Jesus, it already begins. Caesar has died. <laughs> and this is Lens of Avantress. Um, we are going to be at Anime USA. What? That's going to be really nice. Why are you starting with that? Where do we, when do we start normally? <laughs> Twist of fate. What do you mean when? Oh, oh Twist God. of fate. Dear God, I wish Andy were here for the Twist announcement. Twist of fate. Did somebody say announcement? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Andy. Oh, where did you come from? Oh, I just oh. happened to be in the neighborhood. God, I can't believe you came all the way here for the announcements. Really? Well, since you're here for the announcements, do you want to play D&D with us tonight? I would love to. God, I just love a four-person party. You can play Frost. Frost oh, is awesome. Yeah, perfect. I'm a cat. I'm a cat. Oh, you may I like wonder, beans. You may wonder who speaks to you now. <laughs> Brico. Brico. You may wonder. Yeah. I do really just want to say from the bottom of our hearts that you being here with us tonight, playing alongside us while we go through this campaign, really means a lot to us. I'm so happy happy to see all of these names in chat, uh, all the names that uh, I've seen before, all of the new names. We're just so happy to have you as part of our family. Thank you for the support. We love you very much. And uh, let's roll that beautiful bean footage. Once upon a witch light hour, the sleeping queen stirred in her tower, and through grand halls past lock and key, came to her slumber dreams of three. The first brought laughter filled with fright, the second love defiled by spite. The third, a world of pure delight. She welcomed these, they were her own, but soon from porcelain lips a groan. Her silvery dreamscape now forsaken, to pain from which she'd not awaken. Something blighted had come hither, foul as nightshade creeping thither. From yon the grave-like curse did wither. The little prince wept in his spire, his wounded heart had one desire. A ballad from the dreaming queen Could turn his maelstrom mind serene He vowed her rescue, speech sincere But toys would be his shield and spear And so he scoured for one full year In springtime wreathed in parenthood The prince first found a toy of wood A doll set, beasts and wild things But listen close and each one sings A song of child, owl and bear A song that calls the spirits there a song for monsters with much hair. When summer heat steamed like a kettle, the prince then found a toy of metal, a rocking horse with ashen mane. Around its neck was draped a chain. Its horn and eyes and nose shoot flame with mighty hooves and sturdy frame. No better steed one could proclaim. He searched from autumn's harvest throne. The prince then found a toy of bone. Lettered blocks stacked to the sky, when turned to words could only lie. Deceit known to the hounds of hell makes for a potent hex or spell of souls, of sin, of shadow fell. Through winter's chill from peak to pass, the prince then found a toy of glass. Marble spun in measured motion, like careful thought or certain notion. Each glinting cat's eye seeing all, from stars beyond the cosmic sprawl to inner strength and mind's recall. The day has come, no time for rest. The fateful toys placed in a chest with stripes of white and stripes of red, just like a big top by his bed. The little prince prepares a flower, 
for either outcome, sweet or sour, and makes a wish for love, for power, once upon a witch light hour. I just turned the music on. I forgot it again. <laughs> Without Derek here. I know. How am I going to remember to do the Edward music? Shambles. Or start the choo choo. Last time on Once Upon a Witchlight, or actually because we have so many new folks here with us tonight, uh, we will kind of go over what has happened in this campaign so far. Um, we have the uh, the members of Carnival La Crew. Kremi, Gideon, Frost, and Gricko, who set out to Agwe to make some coin. While there, they were uh, accosted by Kremi's old boss, who let him know that he was in severe debt. Uh, in a foolish attempt to try and earn the money back quickly, they went to a job board and noticed a, uh, a posting from one warlock looking for information on their Archfey patron Zabilna. They made their way into the swamps around Ogwe to meet up with Madric, the warlock, to find out if there was the potential of a mass amount of gold and uh, treasure that they would be able to use to line their pockets, maybe restart their carnival, as well as to pay off uh, Remy Guru. They decided that this was a lucrative job. This led them directly to the Witchlight Carnival, where they were told um, the entrance to Prismere, a portion of the Feywild, was located, and that it was through this carnival that they would be able to enter into Prismere, find out what's going on with Sibylna, and return back to Madric with the information that was requested, thus securing their winnings. They have arrived at the Witchlight Carnival on its final night, the eighth night of the carnival. And we're told to enjoy it as much as they can while also a sleuthing to see what information they can gather, uh, information about what is happening in Prismere, which has led them to information regarding a coven of hags known as the Hourglass Coven. <gasps> It is most recently that they have made it through the first four hours of the carnival. And they have just experienced one of the biggest spectacles the carnival has to offer, the big top extravaganza. Mm. It is here where they finally have seen one half of the carnival owners in, in the flesh, a Mr. Light, who was the, um, the leader of the big top extravaganza. Towards the very end, he called out for participants to perform and potentially gain favor with the host uh, in an attempt to buy them additional um, additional glory towards becoming the Witchlight Monarch, which happens at the very end of the carnival, and the good graces of both Mr. Witch and Mr. Light themselves. It was then that this group that you see before before you, minus uh, one random player sitting at the table being a mooch. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> uh, it is then that you see uh, our four main characters here um, decide that they want to attempt to entertain the crowd, and they do. Though Frost, overcome by some fey magics, puts himself in quite the pickle with Mr. Light when he begins to question him publicly in front of the entire audience about Mr. Light's most painful moment in his life. It was a tense moment, but the group was able to salvage it, and Mr. Light let his right-hand man, Burley the Bugbear, know to invite the group to a meeting with Mr. Witch and Mr. Light, which is exactly what they were hoping would happen. It is here that we start our session. You are standing in the big top. Burly the bugbear is next to you. He's just informed you that you are to have a meeting with Mr. Witch and Mr. Light. He rounds all of you up and takes you through the, the back entrance to the big top. And you begin to make your way through what appears to be a, a, an employee area. You see picnic tables lined with bits of food. You see uh, witch light hands milling about on their breaks and uh, enjoying some time off or some of them working. Uh, some of them are there helping the performers that you just saw uh, change into their new outfits or round up uh, round up the clowns and put them into their cages. I'm kidding. Clowns don't go in cages. <laughs> no, but the don't. clowns, but the clowns are there no, milling about. Oh man! There's only one place with the clowns. <laughs> <Not> <laughs> the <cage. laughs> 
honking each other's noses and uh, pulling. <laughs> Jesus Christ! And pulling Christ. what? <laughs> Do you see why we get nothing done here? Uh, you see the performers milling about, doing the things that they that need to get done after a performance as large and as grand as the big top extravaganza. You wind your way through this area until you finally make your way to the very back of the carnival, right towards the edge of where the uh, lake winds around in that uh, figure eight pattern around the carnival, and you see a beautiful caravan. Um, extravagantly decorated, exactly what you would expect to carnival um, carnival leaders to to live in, in beautiful striped colors of red and white, um, silk streamers and tassels hanging this way and that, uh, gilded and and glorious. In front of it, you see four benches. As Burley motions to you to sit down. Oh. Mr. Witch and Mr. Light will be with you shortly. Until then, just uh, take a seat and relax. Can't tell you how long it'll be. And, uh, cat fella? Uh, yes. Mr. Light wants a private word with you first. Oh, a private word? Perhaps he enjoyed my show. <laughs> Perhaps. So if you'll follow me, oh, I'll. Will my companions be joining me? A, a private word insinuates you alone. Well, I wasn't sure if it was private as in just a private between me and him or private with me and my companions. You're very large and muscular, so I, I, I suppose I'll follow after you. <laughs> well, hold, hold on. How long was he going to be gone? Because, I mean, we only got eight hours, and if this is going to take all day... Yeah, no, Frosty has to help me save who's... You know, it'll, it'll be okay, Grico. I'm sure that my, my line of questioning just brought back some very pleasant memories for, for Mr. Light. No, you yeah, fucked what? up. Yeah, why are you taking him? His show wasn't even good. <laughs> I was horrible. You see what he did at the end? Oh. <laughs> no, this, this is like kind of a bad kind of meeting, not a good kind of meeting, Frost. You understand? Oh, I'm sure everything will be fine. We don't want to keep Mr. Light waiting too long, so if you'll follow me, Cat, I'll see you inside. Oh, Frosty, good job. I think he did the wrong thing. Well, see, thank you, Grico. I appreciate your uh, your confidence in my abilities. <laughs> yeah, lead the way. Bur 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 Burley, was your name Burley? Am I getting yep, that correctly? Yeah, my name's I'm that Burley right? the Bugbear. Uh, is, that, is that a goblinoid name? Uh, I think it's more of a nickname. Oh, well, it's thank you. just my name. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, lead the way, Mr. Burley. <laughs> he slowly walks over. He opens the door. And for a split second, you can see the inside. It is clearly a lush um, uh, a lush caravan, uh, purple velvet tassels strewn here and there. The, waft, the wafting of incense spills out very quickly as the door opens. And you are quickly, or... Frost is quickly ushered inside. Uh, Burley shuts the door, crosses his arms, and leans up uh, next to the carriage, but then does not continue to speak. You <clears throat> sit here and wait for a while. You notice that um, you're not the only person here. There is another person here, clutching on to a piece of paper that has some words scrawled on it, and what is clearly crayon is a... What are you? I am also a bugbear. <clears throat> and my name is Torbeck. Do we recognize Torbeck? You do recognize Torbeck. At first, it's hard to notice because clearly this bugbear has been in the drink. <laughs> this bugbear is filthy. His clothes are tattered. He looks like he has had quite the past couple of months. Oh. But this is clearly one of the carnies that used to work at Carnival La Crew. Man, that guy stinks. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it smelled familiar. Is that, is that Tobek? Who? Tobek. Well, I don't know who that is. 
Do we, uh, know, do we know someone named Do we know a bugbear named Torbeck? Torbeck was worked for a carnival from the very beginning. Do you remember him, Kremmy? Well, I know we had bugbears working, but I mean, I don't know. No, he was really good at. Uh, he ran a lot of the games and and, and the machines and the rides that uh, that Gideon. Uh, oh, the rig game oh. operator. That Torbeck. Yeah. 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 yeah no, and whenever the on the on the Harris wheel and that broke down, you say, oh. Uh, Torbeck, why don't you go climb up there? You never fall and ask for workers' comp because we ain't got no workers' oh, comp. Oh, he was when we finally figured out that he was the only one that could do it without breaking the back and being fed to the pigs. Oh, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Did you ever pay him? He also didn't pick up a, a torch or a pitchfork when, when the rest of the colonies revolted. Yeah. Maybe good that, guy, good guy. Maybe yeah. that's why I forgot about him is because I haven't built an eternal grudge of hatred against him for <laughs> running us out of town. Oh, that's... And ruining my car. You know, that's a good sign, I think. Torbeck, is that you? <gasps> oh, if it isn't Torbeck's favorite co-workers... What are you doing here? Uh, I mean, I guess I'm asking, what are you doing here? Yeah. Well, Torbeck is here to find a new job. After things went south at the Carnival, Torbeck is what he likes to refer to as fun employee. <laughs> <laughs> but now Torbeck has gotten to the witch-like Carnival early to apply for a new job. Uh, oh. uh, early for like early for for the for next for the next for carnival like eight years from now. Yeah, that's that's real. I guess that would be very early. No, early for this carnival. Ah, <laughs> uh, is anybody gonna tell him? <laughs> Wait, well, so tool back. You, you're looking for employment for like tonight for like four hours. Is that what you're saying? Correct. Uh, uh, <laughs> wait. Four hours? <laughs> I thought it was eight days. <laughs> well, I mean, it is. No, no, yeah, it's the last night. Oh, <laughs> Torbeck. <laughs> Torbeck, what have you been doing for the past seven and a half days? <laughs> Torbeck thought he was a whole week early. <laughs> you are telling Torbeck that this is the last day of the carnival. Let me see your calendar. Torbeck doesn't have a calendar. <laughs> I mean, who cares around a calendar? Go, Do you oh, you don't have a calendar with uh, Hoochie's first uh, lemon icy? <laughs> this was Hoochie's first time that she blinked with two separate eyes. <laughs> uh, wait, hold on. Uh, I can't even look, look at Gideon. Are you sure you're not coming to collect on the three or four months of wages I never paid you? Ugh. Oh, Mr. Krammy Torbeck would never extort anyone that he worked for as magnificent as you. Oh, all right. Is it extortion oh. if we owe him the money? <laughs> Look, yeah, no, no question again. No question. Oh, yeah, right, right. Oh. Yeah. Torbeck may be hitting a little bit of a rough patch, but things are still looking good for Torbeck. Torbeck has a girlfriend named Clementine that is absolutely real and oh. not a cardboard cutout. Oh, that's really nice for you. Gosh, man, that's, that's, I know that you were always saying, oh, I'm so low. Torbeck is so lonely. Nobody wants to be with Torbeck. And a nice girl named Clementine with a very pretty name. Uh, uh. Uh, Torbeck, Torbeck will have to remind Clementine to update his calendar. Oh, yeah, no, you should ask Clementine to maybe have remind. Yeah, maybe she also should get a calendar herself if she didn't remind you correctly. Where's she right now? Is she around? Oh, we would love to she, meet Clementine, I, wouldn't we, fellas? She's not here. She's not here. Oh, oh. I forgot to, you forgot to bring her to the carnival. Like the perfect spot well, for a couple. Torbeck well, was here sense. for work. If he was coming oh. to get a job, he's not going to bring his lady. Actually, I suppose it's best that he didn't bring his best gal because all of the romances we've seen at this carnival <laughs> haven't really worked out. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, no, one was with a, a mermaid who was like, oh, you know, who do I like? You know what I mean, Torbeck? Oh, well, if that mermaid is still around, 
Torbeck isn't exactly exclusive. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm saying? Chance Torbeck. She's in the slams. Not just saying Torbeck, she's got a nice set of pipes. Uh, yeah. She's got a nice singing voice, Torbeck. You know what I mean? Uh, you know what I mean? Hey! Uh, Gideon, are, are you suggesting that Torbeck has no shot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, well, that's I mean, no, you could try. You could always try. Wait, no, I don't. It'd be funny. Look, all right. Just let him do it. You could try. <laughs> yeah, you could try. Yeah, you could try. Know. Yeah, we'd see it. We'll talk you up. Torbeck knows he's not as handsome as Gideon. <laughs> I actually think I've never seen you quite so put together. <laughs> he, he's like a complete shambler. He's got like he's got like bits of like dried vomit on like his chest hair, and he's just not. Oh, he's the best you've ever looked. <laughs> oh, you got some animal crackers up here. Uh, <laughs> some problems. I'm not sure those are crackers. <laughs> I pull out a handkerchief and I wipe my hands off. Um, well, you know, I think, Torbet, if it's true that you and Clementine, uh, Clementines have some sort of arrangement, uh, I think that both of you would find, well, we haven't seen the mermaid, have we? But we've heard like a fool, you know what I mean? Uh, so we're saying it's kind of nice. And, I mean, you know what, Kitty? You know what? You guys are kind of mean, and I'm gonna start speaking to him and go, <laughs> and I'm gonna say, you know, these guys. <laughs> you know, she actually, her ex boyfriend is a mime, and I don't think that it gets much worse than that. <laughs> so I think you actually might legitimately have a chance. I mean, and maybe, you know, and he's actually kind of sad and mopey and pathetic himself, so maybe like, you know, uh, Gideon's got too much of that cake chat energy, you know? She might like, she might want to fix somebody. <laughs> what are you thinking of talking about, dude? <laughs> I have no clue. How do you think they're talking? You think they're communicating? Maybe it's some kind of interpretive dance or something, you know? Oh, they, they, I thought it was just hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Probably singing to the eldritch god for like boons or something. Oh, yeah, I don't know. classic with his member in his wings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, those in, goblin deities always have yeah, in his unbelievable. Wings. Yeah. In Goblin, I will respond as we're talking. <laughs> Oh, Grico, you've always had so many friends, more than anyone. You really are my favorite co-worker. Oh! Well, it's very nice of you to say, uh, uh, Tolbeck. You know, I... <laughs> <laughs> Torment can only hope to have one one hundredth of the friends that Grigo has. Well, you know, Torbeck, I think that maybe you can start to try to, you know, maybe think that you'll try to try to, to, to make friends at work. You know what I mean? They don't have to just be co-workers. Maybe you can say, oh, hey, what's everybody doing? It's Friday night. Anybody doing anything? Oh, well, oh, everybody's busy. Well, maybe... <laughs> Maybe on Tuesday we could check out Ruby Tuesdays. That would be nice. Oh, everyone's busy on Tuesdays too. Uh, uh, well, maybe I'll see you around. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, it's like Rico was there. <laughs> oh, you know, why don't, why, don't you, why don't you hang out with us? I mean, if you're here a lot, if Clementine isn't here to keep an eye on you. I mean, uh, 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 Kremi, uh, despite all of his flaws, uh, you know, and, 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 and ill character traits, of which there are many, uh, you know, he's very good at keeping time. He's got a pocket watch. Oh, well, Torbeck has nothing better going on. I suppose Torbeck could hang out with favorite co-workers for a while. <laughs> Oh, good. Well, you know, you, as long as we're here, you know what I mean? Especially when Frosty's going to be in there for who knows how long. He's probably fine. He's not going to get his legs broken in enough. And I'm going to die anyways. <laughs> you know, I'd take offense to that if I could understand what they're saying. Yeah, I think I think the sentiment was quite clear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you know what you want to do. I want to do what I do. It might be something nice, but given the tone of the voice, I don't think so. Yeah, no, definitely not. I switch back to calling. I'm so happy. Handsome, I'm Gideon. <laughs> hey, that's a horrible rendition of me. 
I forgot to say it in gum. <laughs> <laughs> no! Too cold! We always have to talk about people behind their back in Goblin. Oh. Yeah, have some common courtesy. No, oh, I adore Beck apologizes. <laughs> It is a. It is about this time that the door to the, to the um, the wagon opens up, and you see a man that you had not seen before. Uh, but it is easy to see exactly who this is the moment he steps out of the caravan. He is shorter than Mister Light, a uh, pudgier, but much more put together. His clothing is immaculate, beautifully stitched. Um, gold and silver embroidery. The top hat he wears on his head is pristine, as if it is cleaned and shined nightly. His shoes are so shined that they're almost to a mirror finish. As he steps down out of the caravan, swinging a pocket watch on its chain, as he looks directly towards all of you. Well, well, well. It looks like... You have gotten yourselves in over your head a little bit, I see. Mr. Witch, I presume, if your reputation precedes itself, and it does. He looks at you and he smiles. I think we are kindred spirits, you and I. You got mighty fine shoes, mighty fine hat, and that is a mighty, mighty fine pocket watch. Where'd you get it? My I got eyes it are really in the big, <laughs> and my, the pupils are replaced by pink hearts. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I got it in a place you've never been, and will probably never go, and is worth far more than you could ever hope to own. Oh, I mean, this is my tiny, pathetic pocket watch. It's nothing. Uh, it's nothing as, as as beautifully pristine as yours. Let me introduce myself. Why to do? The name is Crema Le Crew of Carnival Le Crew, and these are my Connie hands. It is a pleasure to meet you, Crema Le Crew. I do not think that an introduction is needed. I am clearly Mr. Witch. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. <clears throat> he nods his hat. He tips his hat to you. <clears throat> now, I had hoped to have a conversation with you all, but as I'm sure you are aware, your friend caused quite a stir at the big top extravaganza. And my partner in crime, Mr. Light, has a thing or two to say to him. Now, I do think we should have our conversation, you see, because there's a lot to say. And your name has come up quite a lot at this carnival in the past four hours. People are talking about Torbeck? Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> he means us. Well, the three of us and, and Frost, but uh, I'm just Torbeck. Are you, the, are, are you the sad bugbear that showed up on the last day of the carnival to submit your... Resume, which is simply a photo of yourself you drew in crayon. <laughs> Torbeck thought he was early. And yes, this drawing looks exactly like Torbeck, including all of the horrible mutations that doctors cannot explain. <laughs> oh! Would you hold that up for me to see? He puts the monocle up to his eye and he looks at it. I can see that children might find this amusing. There may be a place for you here. Yeah, stupid kids probably would find that amusing. Yeah, dumb kids. I hate kids. <laughs> oh no, what a carnival for children. We love kids. Well, we love kids' money rather than their parents' money. No, yeah, no well, I mean, we love know. children. I, 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 now is not the time for your idle prattle. We don't have much time at all. Oh, we should have this conversation, but with Mr. Light pre previously indisposed, we cannot have it now. But I'm fine with I will wait. slow down the process of time. Why don't you take turkey bets? Torbeck. Sure. <laughs> Why don't you take turkey bets here and you have him... Uh, oh, Mr. Lurkey, yes. We, we will certainly take him. <laughs> yes, Mr. Lurkey. If yes. you could take him with you... Enjoy the carnival for a bit. I'll send Burley to get you when we're ready for you. Don't worry about your friend. He's in good hands. All right, so you'll just, Frost will just stay with Mr. Light? Until their business is done, yes. <laughs> is, is, he's going to be totally fine. It's a very polite, gentlemanly conversation. My name's Gretchen Grimbin, by the way. Uh, I've also <laughs> lost my daughter, and she was taken by spooky witches, but we don't have to deal with that until Frosty gets back. <laughs> he takes his pocket watch. He takes his pocket watch, he opens it, and you watch as he takes his finger. He doesn't even touch it, but he slowly begins to wind backwards. 
and then really quickly, and then he stops. And you see that all of a sudden, the second hand is no longer ticking in seconds. It's t ticking significantly slower. And though the carnival around you doesn't feel like it's slowed down, you do have this strange feeling as if time itself is not moving at the same pace it was, though you are currently able to function normally. Uh, how'd you do that? Just a little spin and time just stops? Well, it, has, like it hasn't stopped at all. It still progresses as time is wont to do. It just listens to me. Oh, so on the last night of the carnival, you give all of the uh, the guests a couple extra hours, perhaps, of, of uh, enjoyment and merriment. Well, I'm giving you a couple of extra hours because we have business with your friend. But we have a lot to talk about, and I wouldn't want to miss it in light of the carnival ending and all. So go, enjoy yourselves. Okay. Well, thank you, Mr. Witch. It's very nice to meet you pleasure to meet you and I'm looking forward to our chat later. I have a proposition that I think you won't turn down. If it has anything to do with your <clears throat> renowned carnival, I'm sure I've heard all I need to hear. No, I was just going to offer our services to, you know, kill a political traitor, but we can talk about it later. Wait, what? He, he looks at you, <clears throat> I'll roll an insight check. Natural 20. Oh! oh you gotta give it up. You gotta give it up. Well done. Uh, first roll of the night. Uh, first roll of the night. 24. Um, you, see, you see a smirk appear on his face for just a second. He seems very intrigued by the idea of you um, helping to uh, secure a certain traitor. It's, you can tell almost instantly he knows exactly who you're talking about, and he's very interested. Right. Well, I look forward to our conversation, Mr. LeCrew, Mr. Lurky, All right, yeah, and nice the rest. Uh, oh, yeah, this is Gideon. Yeah, you probably know me as the Cake Chat, though, so I wouldn't be surprised if uh, you didn't know my name, just my title. He looks at your shirt. His eyes kind of linger there for a moment. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. I ain't the biggest cake. No one's ever seen it before. We've never gotten to that stage at the carnivore, so I've heard, but I believed it. You may go. It was a death match. Oh, his okay. last name's Cole. Like the fuel, not the slaw. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. That's really good. Like the fuel, not the slaw. Oh, man. 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 Oh,
you are now inside of the big top and you see that it looks like they're preparing to put on another show. Um, and it's it's easy to just overhear from the people that are milling about that every 15 to 20 minutes or so, they put on a small show in the big top and nothing, nothing quite like the extravaganza, but it's a place that if you wanted to get off of your feet and find a place to relax, have something to eat or drink, you could always pop into the big top for a little bit of fun. And they are currently preparing for one of those. Uh, and that's that's where you find yourselves. All right, fellas. I guess we should, uh, Mr. L- Mr. Lurky. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I kind of like that better than your actual name. <laughs> Nobody ever calls Torbeck by his real name. Some people call me Bodacious T. <laughs> oh, Bodacious T? <laughs> Who is Torbeck kidding? Nobody calls him that. <laughs> oh, but dude, you ought to. Can you explain that nickname? <laughs> Torbeck. Well, now uh, Torbeck is shy. Oh, is that a stage? Name, from, from now on, uh, are you are you putting yourself through uh, college with a little bit of a sod career? <laughs> Mr. There's no judgment. Mr. Cremmy was talking. Oh, I was just gonna say, Rico, that's what we call wishful thinking. <laughs> he's, just, he, he's he's trying to, to to actualize it in his mind, and nobody's gonna call you that. Wait, so you're saying he's not actually putting himself through education by taking his clothes off and jumping around for the amusement of others? No, I think Rico is just referencing uh, early 2000s comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Bodacious tea? Oh, yes. Oh. Uh. <laughs> well, well, you know what? It's your day. It's guys' night. Every day for us is guys' night. But I mean, it's got the old Paul and Shane. I'm sorry, I said the Clementine and Shane. You know what I mean? So now you're with us. You're with the lads. I'm like elbowing his like My calf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's Torbeck. It's it's guys' night out in the town. Now that you, 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 you we, we've ditched Clementine. I'm sure she's lovely, but I'm sure, you know... And Torbeck <laughs> missed any hope of gainful employment, so Torbeck's schedule is open now. <laughs> hey, you know what? You know what, Cremmy? You know what Cremmy and, uh, and Gideon always say? <laughs> Almost every day they say, a day spent doing an, an, an honest day's work is a day's wasted, you know? Wow, that's true. Well, I mean, that's yeah. what you're always saying. You're so, kind of you wasting know. your time. There's no profit in honest work. It is, yeah. what I'm saying. You can't enjoy it. yourself if you're getting paid for it uh, above the table. That's fair. I, I suppose if there's time, maybe Torbeck could have a little alcohol. <laughs> It makes the pain go oh. away for just a little while. Oh, so you're drunk too. <laughs> Man. I'm sorry, did somebody say they wanted some alcohol? Me, Torbeck. You, you see a pixie flying around with uh, very small bottles of alcohol. So to oh. like a, a, a human sized person, they look like those little like sh- tequila shooters. But to her, they're clearly like large bottles of alcohol. Bottles. Yeah, the yeah. airplane yeah. bottles. Yeah. And she's got one of those, like when you see at the uh, the baseball games where they have the, the straps and the tray. And she's just like flying around uh, carrying all these alcohol bottles. Oh, that's lovely, but Torbeck doesn't have any money. No, it's what all are you free. talking about? Everything's free here at the carnival. <laughs> Do you want some mulberry mead? Oh, no. Yes, please. All right, here's one more. Guys, no. <laughs> it's like a little thimble with yeah. a giant bunch of hands. Uh, um, also, Mr. Cremmy, <clears throat> drunk. Did you want anything else from my court? Wait, were we at the kids' drink vendor when she would only give us, like, fizzy unicorn horny drinks? I'm sorry, what are you talking about? We were told... Torbeck is interested in a horny drink. <laughs> we'll have to visit the elf on the still. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> it was very uncomfortable. Anyway, do you have like a pint of uh, a nice pint of uh, like a lager would be nice? Maybe I've ale? got an entire bottle of whatever you could possibly want. Oh, you got some like oh. you only got spirits. Oh, we don't like ghosts here. You got rum? I don't. Well, I have a raspberry a, yeah. rum. Mm, I'll take it. All right, and she passed. She like hands it to you, but it's tiny. No, it's still like this. Yeah. What about whiskey? Oh, uh, well, that depends on what kind of whiskey you want. 
Uh, some spicy with a little kick. Okay, how about dragon fire whiskey? Oh yeah, that'll do. <laughs> All right, here you go. Oh. <clears throat> Did you want anything? Uh, you got like a like a cup of beer. No. Uh, they probably have tons. You know, like all the bottles of beer. It's all like hard liquor. Oh, uh, no, I'll wait. I'll wait until a beer. Are you sure? I mean, it's guys' night. Come on, we're doing shots. Yes. Oh, oh, get the, no. get the mead. I would be toast to guys. I mean, my now. daughter did get taken by free horrible <laughs> <laughs> witches for millions. Yeah, but it is guys' night. <laughs> <laughs> You just consider them like babysitters. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, it's just all about how you... It's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you. Thought process, you know? I'm gonna make it okay. Mm. So did you want something from my court? Oh, gosh. Speak yeah. something. Oh, do you have like a... Yeah, gin. You got any gin? Give him some gin. Oh, some yeah, gin would be quite nice. What kind would you nice. like? You want ginger well, gin? Stanky, I mean, as much steak as you got. No, I'll, I'll, Maximum I'll steak. have some ginger gin, yes, please. All right, here you go. And she passes you a bottle. I would be careful about drinking it all at once. It's a lot of... Uh, Gosh, no! Hey! Oh, God! Oh, no. Wasn't he going to toast? Oh, we I, have, can we get four more? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Another round. I need you all to make constitution oh, saving throws at disadvantage. Oh, oh no. Constitution. Yeah, a disadvantage because you just shot it. It's the size of a thimble. Oh no. Tor I just oh oh no. Torbeck got a seven. <laughs> Grico got a seven. Oh god. <clears throat> nine. Uh nine. <laughs> <laughs> I just oh the size is really deceiving. I know it looks pixie-like, but there's enough alcohol content in that to put an elephant to sleep. You are all wasted. <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah. Good, 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 thing, kick. good thing we are elephants. Uh, 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 imagine if we were elephants. No. Right now. We'd be fucked. Man, we would look like a bunch of idiots oh, if we were elephants yeah. right now. Hey, God's uh, not. Hey, God's not. Hey, God's not. not. Hey, God's not. Yeah. hey, hey that's, that's 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 strong stuff. Did bodacious oh, tea. Uh, God, why, don't you, why don't you give us a little toast? Well, uh, I'm sorry for stealing your uh, spotlight. We need, we need four. Yeah. 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 Some order. Yeah. 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 Are you sure? Yeah. 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 It's on bodacious tea. Right. You can't right. toast without she, booze. She just starts <laughs> passing him out. She looks oh, really yeah. nervous. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, right. Poor Beck can't toast without gotta, another drink. I'm just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it stands the reason. Uh, I'm just. I'm gonna go. <laughs> so good luck. <laughs> she turns and flies away. Oh, um. <laughs> oh we don't have a problem. You have a problem. <laughs> 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 Uh, all right. I don't know why everyone's always judging. We're not elephants. Yeah. Can you say it? We're not elephants. Yeah. Uh, elephants guide me. Uh, <laughs> elephants guide me. Elef oh, no. Elephants. Oh, okay. oh, oh, come on. The elephants. Tor, tor, Tormek. Toast is Tormek yearns for physical touch. <laughs> Too Clementine! Because this is the first time you've left her alone in a long time, uh, so he misses his love, his uh, best gal, Clementine, uh, and her lovely soft Clementine, touch. Yes. Yeah, she has a touch that's as soft as an orange rind. <laughs> Clementine. <laughs> The roll of constitution saving cry disadvantage. Uh, uh, oh, Grito's gonna twist. Uh, oh, no, let's go. you're gonna. You're you're dreaded. Oh, I got a fourteen. Fifteen. I got a fifteen. Sixteen. This face shit burns. Oh, it was almost <laughs> a natural twenty. Uh oh, thirteen. Doing a little better. Man, all of You know what? Actually, I'm not gonna twist you. Yeah, you can go ahead and use a twist. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep my dread for something fun. I got a twenty. Uh, roll a d100 for me, please. Okay, that was kind of my point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we gotta use them. You gotta. You gotta. Yeah, no, you're right. You're you right. You're right. It. And you're Ooh, still 73. drunk. You're still drunk. So I uh, know. Oh, I'm still drunk. So who pa or who uh, <laughs> who passed out? <laughs> who failed? I got a thirteen. What yeah, that means? Fifteen. And you got a sixteen. 
16. Uh, yeah, 16. We're all fine. 73. <laughs> you gain the beauty of the gods as long as you view yourself in a mirror each day. If not, your beauty will corrupt into the I can see myself and just... <laughs> Wait, what, what does it actually happen? So all of a sudden, you turn and look at Gricko, and he is the most beautiful goblin you've ever <gasps> seen. Long, luscious, blonde locks, plump lips, perfect skin, long, feathery eyelashes, piercing green eyes. Oh my <clears throat> goodness, Gricko, when did you get more handsome than Gideon? What? I mean, it's actually the third time tonight. <laughs> yeah. There's this at least once an hour. You know yeah. what, I'm, Torbeck, I know, yeah. I know, Bodacious T, that I was saying that you had a chance with that big titty mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> but that was before I had two drinks. <laughs> <laughs> and before I look like this, you don't have a chance. And, it is and nor do you, Gideon. It is at this point, Kremi, that you're looking at Gricko, and though he is beautiful, he is four Grickos. And he is stumbling about. You feel your yeah. head just spin and oh, spin oh, yeah. as you Steady pass there. out. There, oh, fella. shit. Yeah. Oh, I know the beer uh, guy goes a thing, but you're but, awfully pretty. No, he's just hands. <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> I pass out of Gideon's arms. Oh. Oh, is is Mr. Kremmy going to be okay? Uh, to be My honest, I didn't even notice he passed out. I'm too busy looking at Gricko. Uh, <laughs> have, you seen, have you seen him? I don't blame you. <laughs> There's a lot going on right so, now. The, the way I would equate it is he goes from being goblin to goblin king. So it's as if love you're that. looking at a yeah. tiny Jareth. Yeah. No, I'm wearing that. spandex now and like I just have a it's crazy, huge god, god crazy bald. <laughs> huge god piece. Oh, god. The rock mullet is perfect. I have an absolutely <laughs> enormous penis. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, it you know? Actually, this this it doesn't change the look of his face at all. He just has a much larger penis than he did <laughs> You know, um, just like that pixie said, I, I normally normally I have to say that oh the size is deceiving, <laughs> but now I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> this is so, oh, something wrong man, with What this was that campaign. mermaid's name again? And you wouldn't remember. Let's go to the lake. Let's go to, let's go to the lake. Yeah, I mean, we gotta Does go she somewhere. Have any friends? Oh, we can ask her. She probably's got a nice friend, yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, she might have, like, you know, cousin or something. Yeah, we can go to the lake. Just be careful when you walk there to not trip over your giant hog. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm getting used to this one, Gideon. This is for you when they say fun times to chum. <laughs> Are you going to sling that over your shoulder? What do you no. want to do? No, honestly, I think the power yeah. of fey magic is keeping uh. it all bundled up there. <laughs> hey, Krabby! Wake up! I'm not allowed to crash out on God's night! It's only... It's early! It's early! <laughs> I like alligator piss. <laughs> yeah, come I, on. I, I, come no, on. No, 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 I, no, I, wake up. Well, yeah. Puke a little bit right now. <laughs> oh, 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 no, it'll wake him up. Oh, no, wait, what, what, what'll wake him up? Uh, oh, no, did that alligator not have a mustache? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, I go on, I go on. Uh, I hate unicorns. <laughs> I, I think Torbeck has the answer. I get really close to my whisper in his ear. Torbeck has various horrific rashes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, uh, nice try, Torbeck. You don't really know Grimmy oh, that well. I mean, uh, I guess he was always having you, you know, work all the read games and climb up and fix things uh, and steal from people. Yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> Crummy, come on. Come on. Uh, Wake up. Yeah, it's just distasteful. Wake yeah, up. How you act. It's just yeah. embarrassing. You're, you're embarrassing yourself and guys not. <laughs> but, but, 
Why is it too bad? I was very excited for Guy's Night Out, and we already <laughs> lost a good soul. <laughs> Well, you know, you you got you got to admit, look how skinny he is. I mean, I know, I know that I'm a short king, okay? <laughs> but I look a whole lot nice. You are a short king. You know, I'm a, I mean, especially now. <laughs> I mean, look, I'm like the crimson chin. <laughs> These are some plump lips. Oh god. But I mean, Crammy, I can't believe. I mean, he's all he's all scale and bone. I don't mean his dogs. <laughs> you know that you can easily wake up when it's just can you're we... just unconscious. You just be shaken away. Oh, yeah. I'm with... oh. yeah. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I would say you're significantly more drunk than the rest. Yeah. It's supposed to turn me on my side. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Oh, oh damn it, Krimi, I'm not a doctor. Right. Oh yeah, or a surgeon. Uh, or a surgeon. <laughs> damn it. Oh, I don't know. I've never saved anyone. Well, I mean... Oh, my hat. Where's my hat? You wear it. It's on your head. <laughs> Did I lose my hat? It's no, on your no, head, oh, currently. Oh, oh. Yeah. Thank the gods. All right. All right. You actually you? have your mustache, by the way. I was just trying to wake you up. Wait. Is it there? Hold on. When I flip open my compact mirror. It's, uh, oh, hold on. Can, can, can I take a look? No, no, no. I, I, uh, and I would try to like touch up my mustache, <laughs> and I'm smearing it all yeah. over the place. It's like it's like at the club looking in like the car mirror. Hold on, Jeffrey. Hold on, it's out of reply. Shut up. Shut up, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Shut up. Shut up. Kevin won't text me back. Do you think that he's just playing hard to get? Tiffany! I don't know, look. Is it pencil thin and dapper? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm as straight as it's straight. Uh, as, uh, a lot of dudes. I mean, yeah. a lot of dudes. You're looking pretty good, Rick. Uh, I mean, dude. thank you, but I mean, if, if by dude. pencil thin, you mean thicker than a Snickers. <laughs> well, that's not what I mean. I don't know. I mean, Frosty said it a couple of hours ago, and I just, I don't know What's what a means. Snicker? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Frosty just said it. I just sounded thick. I just sounded thick with several C. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Just like that mermaid, you know what I mean? Oh, speaking of the mermaids, Mr. Kremmy, could you please not tell them about my rashes? <laughs> what, what about rashes? Roll a constitution saving throw. <laughs> oh. <laughs> to survive the knowledge that he's got horrible rashes. If you, if you don't remember, just forget it. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like if he keeps talking about his rashes, you're not going to be able to hold down the liquor. <laughs> he's, you stop. No, look, I'm, look. I'm sorry. Turkey, just please. <laughs> Turkey. Shut it. It's Torbeck. It's Bodacious <laughs> D you're talking about. This is this is the last night of freedom. Oh, I oh that, that Bodacious T has. I thought his name was Lurky. <laughs> no, well, I mean, no, first name no, Lurky, it's, last name Lurky. Wait, but I thought it was he's Lurky. Which is a very classic you know, gobinoid name, okay? Like, like he stays like 10 feet tall, but it's you, not, you never it's, see him. No, uh, no, you he's know. A, Big, yeah, big fuck. Well, you guys are all big fellas. My neck hurts from looking up, but at least I'm very handsome. <laughs> <laughs> and now that I'm so handsome, we gotta hit the town because this is gonna wear off. Oh, Krami, can I see your mirror very quickly? Uh, there you go. Oh. <laughs> they me. I mean, I can barely tolerate standing within 20 feet of you, Turkey. You fucking oh, stay on it. Uh, Torbeck has zero expectations and is still disappointed. <laughs> Do you mind if I clean you up and get rid of the, the vomit patches, or would you take offense to that? No, Torbeck would be very appreciative. All right, because I just can't tolerate it anymore, and I cast precipitation. Yeah, I try you to get you attempt to stick out and vomit. You do, and you see that Torbeck is standing there without any clothes on at all. <laughs> oh, with this, Torbeck might finally smell like a living humanoid. <laughs> Well, Torbeck, you're, you're, uh, I don't see why they call you Bodacious Tea yet. <laughs> we gotta get you some cool drip, is what they say. Drip? We gotta get you some drip. No cap, fam. <laughs> you say, I don't know, can you, can I borrow your, your, your lipstick? Well, because I need to do some eyeshadow. 
It's not. I mean, it's it's a stick for my lip, but it's not lipstick. All right. What is it? It's my mustache application device. <laughs> oh man, borrow your mustache application device, Grammy. <laughs> I feel like I'm looking like my young days with the feathered tips, like when I used to be in that band. <clears throat> all right, but <clears throat> don't don't waste it. Okay, hold on. Man. <laughs> That's not your lips. But oh, no, I know, I know. <laughs> I hate that no matter what you do, you just look better and better. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> thank you, Gideon. <laughs> I'm very <laughs> symmetrical. Yeah. Yeah. Roll a constitution saving so throw, Grego. Oh, uh, me. Just straight. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Oof. <laughs> I'm just going to take it five. Okay, thank you. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, you're looking quite nice. All right, give it back. Okay, okay, you just done. So what's next on the big guy's night out? <laughs> you still make it. Oh, <laughs> let's get you some fresh. <laughs> no, no, look. They were so right filthy, now. you <laughs> pressed digitation them right off. <laughs> they disintegrated. <laughs> <laughs> They're being held together by vomit. My, my, my feel- <laughs> underpants were like shredded wheat. We got to cover them. <laughs> Oh. His, his <laughs> underpants had more holes in them than they had underpants. <laughs> it, it looks, oh, 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 here's your, here's your hat. Premier's hat. <laughs> oh, 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 God. Oh, oh. oh phew. There's a children, there's children coming right here. Yeah, and you're gonna cover him up. What about you? We're gonna go to fairy jail. You let that hang out around the kitchen. That's what I'm saying. I mean, Tobin's gonna get added to another list. (laughs) What are you suggesting, Bricko? Tobin isn't a pervert. I'm just a bugbear. Okay, I'm pausing this. Hold on one fucking second. So Andy pitches this character to me, mind you, like 10 minutes before we go live, and he says, I decided to play a sad character so that things wouldn't go off the rails. Torbeck's pretty sad. I thought I was laying that on pretty good. Did I not convey that? Uh, I mean, let's get this pivot. I mean, lad. I mean, we gotta get it. We gotta, we gotta go steal some clothes. We can't steal I will clothes. say, I, mean, I will say, you oh, remember. Oh, can't steal. <laughs> you you hear one of the witch light hands. Uh, it actually triggers your memory. You hear one of the witch light hands say, "Hello, do you want to go out?" It's clearly one of the animal tenders as they're taking the animals out for their nightly walk. Um, and it reminds you that when you were walking through the staff area, you saw an entire costume closet that was filled with costumes of all sizes. Clearly, some that would fit bugbears. We gotta hurry. I want my hat back. Oh. Go. Okay. Uh, nothing to see here, children. Children there do are no not. no children in here. Oh, people do not look in this direction. <laughs> it's just guys' night. We're not perverts. <laughs> it's just guys' night. As you, you know. As you begin to yell this out, people start to turn and look. Hey, don't look over here. It's working. It's working. It's working. Uh, it's working. Uh, damn it's, not, it's, it's just cool. guys' night. It's just guys being guys. It's just guys being guys. Oh, oh my God. He's not a bugbear. He's a bird. Well, he's mostly being fellas. No, it's just it's it's you know, the Karen is ash crack is matted. Oh no! Oh, I knocked the hat off. Crammy didn't brush out the hat. Crammy didn't brush out my butt crack hairs. Oh, I don't, don't, you, don't, 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 don't look at Torbeck, no, no. Okay, okay, Torbeck, we're going to get you cleaned up. We're going to get you cleaned oh. up. Okay, uh, let's go to the costume uh, chest. We go to the costume chest. Is it stealing? <laughs> Hold on, is it stealing? What, no, I'm, I, is it stealing? No, what are the well, consequences? Uh, Stealing's kind of a thing. I know there's wait, like rules. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. I thought everything was free. <laughs> Every, yeah, oh, I mean, oh, worst case scenario, if he takes the costumes, he, he just gets captured by horrible witches and sucked into a hell dimension. Oh, but is he going to get sucked to hell? That's just, you know, if Lurky <laughs> does it. <he> <laughs> what? Uh, Tormek is not going to steal if it's going to get him sucked to... <laughs> <laughs> Torbeck has reconsidered stealing. Oh, my hat bag. Okay, 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 what 
the class doom chest off. Like, here we go. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Mr. Gunny. I need you all to make a uh, a stealth check. Because oh. you are sneaking into the uh, oh, into the stagehand bad. area. Stealth, you say? Mm-hmm. That'll be an 18 for old Grigo Grim Grin. Oh, I'm not. Jesus. Mm, 19. A dirty 20. Oh. I'm still pretty hey. good. As I get a. <laughs> uh, I have a vision, though. Oh. I mean. Oh, gosh. Holy you know what God. I mean? Life has been heart and you're to blame. You give love a bad name. <laughs> <laughs> nine. Oh. You got a nine? <laughs> You, everyone else seems to be beginning to sober up, though it hit really hard. It doesn't seem to be lasting that long, which is really nice. Except for you, Kremi. Whatever she gave you was very, very strong. And you are attempting to uh, keep yourself together as you exit back out of the big top the same way that you came in with the assistance of Burley and you weave your way through some of the um, some of the witch light hands as they're going about their business most of them most of them don't pay any attention to you at all the sight of a of a goblin and a bugbear traveling together is really nothing a, a fire genasi especially in the way that you are are garbed it seems like it could easily be something that they would see performing at the show and so they don't think anything of it Kremi, however, is constantly stumbling and falling into witch like oh, hands, knocking them over. And <laughs> and making a very oh, loud clatter. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, eventually. Oh, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> eventually, a goblin makes their way up to you. What's going on here? Persuasion check at advantage because I'm assisting you. Persuasion? Yeah. I'm gonna twist it because I'm so <laughs> handsome. Roll a D100. Oh, with a natural 20. That's fucking well done. 22 for all good twists. He, uh, he looks at you and goes, All right, well, you know, oh, if you're yeah, sure yeah, about it. You just... know how gosh not is. <laughs> all right, well, grab a, grab him a coffee on your way to the, oh, the closet then. Tomorrow, you know but he, but you gotta get dressed. The show's about to go on in like 10 minutes. So get him together. Oh, the show? What are we going to see? You're at the big top, you idiot. Oh. They're well, going to yeah. need you out there. Oh. So get uh. get this guy closed up, closed uh, up and you get your friends uh, sewed up. up. Close him up, okay. Well, uh. Let's hop to I don't have to all day for it, all so right? Up, get buddy. out so of here. Up. We're back I'm, on stage. I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. Get him a coffee. Go, go, go. Uh, 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 yeah. Do you have coffee? Well, I have some coffee. Oh, 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 <laughs> and so you are able to make your way over at this point. People are like, oh, yeah, clearly they're just working the show. And, you know, people wave at you and they're like, ah, oh, you're new. Welcome. Yeah, it's good to see you. Good to see you. How long have you been around? Oh, yeah, eight days. Oh, wow, yeah. real those new. Tuna, those tuna sandwiches, yeah. they switch to uh, plant based options. A very nice. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, no. Oh, yeah, me too. I'm no. not a fan of the oh, terrible really? balls. Not oh, even really? a little bit. No. Oh, yeah. Some people are deathly allergic. Too. Yeah. I mean, oh gosh, really it's know, a real but... shame what happened to. Uh... It's a bully work. I'm just not really into uh, terribles. Oh uh, yeah, no. I mean, you should, if if it was actually leech meat and muskrat meat, that would have been. I really a lot. like my fungus on my sandwiches. Oh yeah, no, I appreciate that. No, yeah. you, you have really excellent taste. Thanks. Why is um, he naked sitting here at the table? Uh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, bugbears are very Torbeck. Do we have an eighteen-plus show going on at some point tonight? Oh, Torbeck hopes so. <laughs> well, are you getting it or not? Oh, is your name Fun Gus? What? Fun Gus? I'm no, can- my name's. <laughs> Trudy. I'm oh, Trudy. Oh, Trudy. I didn't recognize. I mean, I, I just made a presumption. Yeah, well, me. I just made it up. Trudy. Trudy. It's quite nice. You've got quite a nice uh, t- two eyes that go in, in the same direction. What so. are you talking about? I'm looking straight at you. Oh, that's <laughs> very clearly not. Yeah, it's very you know nice. I speak well at work. Oh, do you? 
I do. All yeah. right, you want to say something to me nice and bullywug? Oh, I guess I don't speak it. I'm all understanding. <laughs> Hey, I knew what you said. <laughs> oh, great! Mostly that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's really yeah. nice. I knew what you said. Yeah. All right. Well, I gotta go have a smoke before the show, so I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> and she gets up and heads out towards oh, the Oh, Shame what happened about Klutzy. Definitely. Was yeah, may you rest terrible. in peace. Yeah, yeah. It was a terrible accident. Terrible having an allergic accident. reaction to yeah. the plant based on I me. Mean, you know. Oh, yes. Yeah, speaking of allergic reactions, it really sucks what's happening to your eyeballs right now. And she turns around and walks away. And you see that Gringo, <laughs> even though he is beautiful, the bottom part of his eyelid where he put Kremi's makeup has now swollen. He's having an allergic reaction to one of the chemicals in the makeup. Oh, I also need to roll my D100. <laughs> you do need to roll your oh, D100. Oh, no. Torbeck has seen this before. <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> Vines and leaves begin to intermingle, uh, are sparely intermingled with your hair and body hair. Oh. <laughs> What's going on with you? You look like some kind of beautiful forest goddess. How do I look? Yeah, Greco, I'm slightly concerned. Um, oh. I try to tug on one of the leaves that are attached to like, his arm hair. Ah! <laughs> ah! 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 Tor- Torbeck is sorry. Torbeck is sorry. <laughs> I think you'll start calling me the green man. <coughs> what? I think I will become the king of the fae looking like this. <laughs> well, at least I'm less confused now. Ugh. <laughs> Andy's dead. Andy's dumb. Toby. Uh, yes, Greg. From one goblin over to another, how do I look? Ah, uh, well, you look considerably worse off than before, but probably still better than Torbeck. <laughs> so I'd say you're doing all right. Oh gosh. Which one of these do I have to steal to get sucked to hell? <laughs> well, I think, if you, I think if you steal anything, you'll get sucked to hell, Tobey. Right? I mean, that's obviously not what we wanted. At all. Yeah, I think actually that goblin has offered you all the clothes, so not enough for Torbeck. <laughs> and I just begin to go through and see if I can find what would fit me. Uh, roll a d100. <laughs> I got a fifty-eight. <laughs> you, you, you rummage through, and of all the things you find, the only thing that looks like it's going to fit you is a Playboy bunny outfit with very large ears. <laughs> Oh, um, guys. Fish, fish net tights. <laughs> Little cuffs. <laughs> the hair is just pouring out of the fish You like can't even see that. Guys, Well, this is the only thing that fits Torbeck, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a funny joke. Yeah, yeah, it's a funny joke. Gideon, <laughs> will you please tighten my bra? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, that's really jammed straight up your ass crack. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's see if I can... <laughs> Ouch. Oh. I think Torbeck is in. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can't breathe. 
Oh, no, it's just a funny joke. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so funny, glad you rolled that. So funny joke. <sighs> I don't think Andy can play at this table anymore. Uh, I think well, fuck. we were we were gonna invite you back next week, but I think you uh, just need to go home. <laughs> well, that's very Torbeck of me. <laughs> <laughs> what Tor- were we even? Do- oh, yes, you were donning your bunny costume. That's so you've right. just finished donning your bunny costume, and it was the only thing you could find in the uh, in the trunk that would fit you. Uh, but it's on. It's a, it's a little pulled up into your ass. You uh, definitely have a, a fedgy, uh, a fur wedgie. Yeah. You know what, guys? We It's not even stealing. I feel like we sh- it's God's night. We should all wear a costume to, to so that, that uh, Torbeck doesn't feel so out of place in his lovely outfit. Wow. Oh, I mean, I'm covered in vines and also my eyes are different. <laughs> but also wear a costume. Greco makes a good point, though. Torbeck initially was uncomfortable, but now it just feels right. <laughs> <laughs> this better not awaken something in Torbeck. <laughs> Torbeck got the body hottie. I'm, uh, I'm gonna dive into the uh, into the costume chest and look for something that fits me. Am I okay. still wasted? Huh? Am I still wasted? You you are all you're all at least drunk. I would say you're not so wasted you can't function all anymore. Right. But you're still on. So you're I'm still, on still yeah. I would say you're on everybody level else's level, and you're slowly sobering up. Roll a d100, you little scamp. Are we? 72. Um, is this like Ooh. a disguise for the show so they don't recognize us, or? Oh, it's good. It's good night, Crammy. You gotta be a little wild. It's just a prank. It's just oh, a joke, yeah. you know? <laughs> Torbeck has removed no from his vocabulary. <laughs> Yes to everything that comes Torbeck's way. The knot's gonna be the last, the last knot, you know what I mean? This is not at all what you're going to expect, but you find an egg costume. It is, it is the shell of an egg, but it is oddly painted with scenes of human misery in disturbing detail. Uh, this is perfect. What is what is what's painted on the costume? You have all these options. That's what you chose. Oh yes, I mean mass execution. (laughs) (laughs) Look at the famine and pestilence on the back. Oh, Oh. that's a pretty horrible egg costume. Greco, you're really harsh in Torbeck's buzz. (laughs) Well, I mean, there's only like a good number of of corpses <laughs> on <laughs> spikes. Yeah, look, I, I'm gonna see what there is. Let me take a look. Oh, Jesus. oh look at the starving children. You can see their ribs. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, well, I'm not gonna be the only one not in costume on boys' night, so I'll grab one as well. Seventy-eight. Oh God. Boys night. <laughs> <laughs> it's boys' night. You know what I mean? Boys night out. Boys night. That's right. <laughs> Why is the dungeon master laughing? <laughs> <Uh-oh>. <laughs> you, you find a costume, and it is a costume of a woman who's been recently murdered. <laughs> Perfect! Oh, this is getting darker by the second. Oh, can we walk around in there? No, 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 I need some spirit gum to apply this. Next level. And it does come with a silicone breastplate. They are large. <laughs> and there's, there's blood all down the front. Of my, of my silicone uh, bosom. Uh, it's a masterpiece. Uh, you know, Toby, you inspired me. 15. Let's do oh, this. Okay. How do I look? It's like a Jessica Rabbit. It's like total oh, sequins. Yeah. Love that. Sparkling. I look all the way down to like your half. <coughs> There's like yeah. a big slit up the side for my leg. Ooh. You are very striking, Mr. Kremmy. What a do there, gentlemen. Oh, I guess you are a bit of a tall, thin number. Yeah, this right. outfit, Gideon, isn't going to fit you very well. It's similar to the cake shed outfit where it's just a little bit too small. But it is clearly a go-go dancer's outfit nice. that is designed to look like a very flamboyant peacock. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm an egg. Oh, well. <laughs> guys, I'm an egg. Look at this. I think this is gonna fit perfectly. I'm just, uh, uh, I'm, in, I'm almost in. Uh, uh, uh. 
Can't wait to flaunt these feathers, you know what I mean? <laughs> this is why Tor- Torbeck can never have nice things. <laughs> why? Just when Torbeck thinks that he gets ahead, <laughs> here comes Gideon. <laughs> I mean, what, we did this for you. Yeah. Yeah. He does yeah. it for you. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's good. It's good. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Great, go. Torbeck will help. Oh, 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 oh God. God. No, 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 no. <laughs> the, horrible ah. floods, the horrible floods are on the bottom. Oh, God. Oh, no. You really get up in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, gosh, I'm an egg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, got, I slip on giant uh, go-go like boots. yellow go-go mm-hmm. boots up past my knees. Well, <laughs> all right. I feel a little bit close. <laughs> fellas, fellas, we're ready for the big time. Well, I'm doing. Well, I, feel, I, feel like, I feel like I need to change. I feel like I'm not dressed appropriately no more. <laughs> I feel like I'm not appropriately I, dressed for, for guys night. I have, to, I have to read this comment. Please stop giving the party provocative costumes. I have to keep drawing them. I need to do my chemistry. Please. Do your homework or you'll end up an underpaid internet clown like us. <laughs> Hold on. I'm just going to see if they have anything a little more fitting. You know? I, I just don't want to be out of place. I mean, I do like being an egg and, and the human misery is kind of funny. Uh, I get a little grim when I when I drink. That's why they call me Grim Grin. I'm just gonna do one more little look see. You know what I mean? Oh, he's wearing the body of a murdered right. lady. Right. So yeah. Yeah. My throat was cut in the back alley. Oh. Ten. Okay. Right. I look yeah, like you closed sure me up in a cage. I'd be able to no, dance no, to no, Technicolor zero, Lights. Zero. Okay, we got a We'll have a really great time. Wait, so you did I'm get a ten? Drugs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get a little cup balls. I kind of... Stars not, you know what I mean? Uh, you find an outfit of a... What is very clearly a cloth rag doll that is skewered with needles. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a little macabre. <laughs> <laughs> Keep looking. <laughs> Is that, a, is that a kind of fabric? I'm too Yeah, I think. I mean, I don't I'm know. Keep looking. Yeah, I know. 94. Oh, boy. It's a little macabre for me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to shimmy. It's going to take me a while to get out of this. <laughs> <laughs> Taxidermied mouse. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna go behind the uh, privacy curtains. <laughs> I can't breathe. I'm gonna go. I'm going to. Uh, <laughs> Strong man, he can just rip you out of that thing. Oh yeah, I may not look like it right now. Hence the boots and the fish nets and these fancy uh, sunglasses. Uh, and it doesn't also... those muscles though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can rip that egg right off you. Oh, and, and so you like? Oh, I forgot. I have uh, the powers of the spirits. You're gonna see a flash of blue uh, from behind, oh, and yeah. you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna hear the uh, the egg suit just drop on the ground, and you're gonna hear the skittering of some sort of insectoid creature, and then a flash of blue, and then uh, I'll uh, see, I'll, I'll truffle around, and I'll step out, and it's just the mouse costume from uh, Mean Girls. <laughs> <laughs> Rico. But like, but like, I have like giant, like googly eyes for like really badly taxidermy, <laughs> and like they're stitching, eyeballs. yeah, for glass eyeballs. <laughs> I'm a mouse. She my ears. Duh. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> and your eyeballs are still swollen. You're still swollen yeah. your eyes. Rico, your uh, body That's suit true. is. Uh, <clears throat> Hugging your enormous hog. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it is. Oh, I'm talking. I suppose it is. It's a bit obscene. Yeah. I was always cool with you before, but I hate kids and animals, and that's definitely a hog. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I, 
would just like it to be known that so far you've been turned down for a meeting, walked into a big top, and put on outfits. Uh, and that's the extent of it. Get it? How do I look? It's cause not. It's not. It's a prank. I'm making it up. We don't really like wearing it. Yeah. It's just a prank. You know, they can't hold it against you if it's on. It's just a joke. It's just a joke if you're lying. You know? How does my hair look like? Squeak, squeak. It's not weird if you're good at it. Exactly. That's actually true, though. It's not weird if you're good at it. It's not weird if you own it, you know what I mean? I'm a little stitchy mouse with my glass eyes. You know what they say. These boots were made for walking. <laughs> so where are we going next? <laughs> well, they need it for the show, don't they? Oh, oh. Did, did you want to stay in your costume? What do you mean? We'll look for something a little bit sexy. You know? I mean, it's God's night. It's a little macabre, don't you think? <laughs> I'll take a look. I mean, it's a little macabre. I, I thought it was perfect, but if you guys are judging me, I, I don't mean, want to I be kind of. I mean, it does look yeah. kind of nice. Come on, Cremmy, show some leg. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at this big. I mean, no, it's kind of nice, actually. No, I, lo- I like it. The red, blood, the blood kind of goes with my. Uh, I stuck my leg out. Uh, Fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. Did someone already get that one? Uh, I, had I had 15. 58. 15. I had 58. <sighs> uh, roll it again. Oh. 86. Oh. Ooh, good number. <clears throat> Where do you get these tables? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I just... <laughs> I, I From the you. deepest, darkest pits of hell. <laughs> Where I, will I can't soon be do that one. Too. I can't do that because has more to do with rats. Fifty. I don't want them if they're too close, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's mm. yeah. I feel like big titty murder <laughs> ladies fine. I mean, I Why do you keep the three of us are pretty close? Ones. I can roll damn. Na- uh, Nineteen. Uh, I will see what that one is, but you might you might do the one that you just rolled. I'm just rummaging. <laughs> uh, what do you think? Uh, no. <laughs> the oh, costume of a glass jar containing a weird bit of flesh floating and floating and pickling fluid. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> the the oh, other no. one the other one was I mean, a it's um fun. sorry, Louise. Uh, a dead scarab beetle. I think you should keep to to dead yeah, stick, with the, stick with the murdered lady. Yeah, I'm yeah. just gonna I mean, it's quite impressive that the costume designer was able to convey pickling <laughs> I mean, that's quite <laughs> nice plasticity, yeah, I mean, if you ask me what, do you think, what, what show do you think calls for, a, you know, a, a whatever kind of mouse you are, a, a flesh, oh. flesh in a pickling jar, <laughs> uh, dead, a murder, dead scare beetle, a, 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 oh, a dead scare beetle, <laughs> uh, squeak, squeak. a murdered lady, and and a go-go dancer. What what play is a this? A peacock go-go dancer. A peacock go-go dancer. It's a good look. And a Playboy bunny. And a Playboy oh, bunny. Oh, and you forgot Torbeck again. <laughs> <laughs> you really just disappear into the scenery. I, I mean, it's, oh, 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 you're, you're bug I mean, you literally like, go invisible. If you stay in still. I'm very stealthy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I feel far too sober for God's night. What do you think? Well, I mean, I feel very silly and sexy, and I want to not think about the realities of that. So let's get a little more. <laughs> I could use another drink. Torbeck's starting to feel the pain again. <laughs> Let's get shots! Yeah. Yeah. Shots! Let's yeah. get saunter in there. <laughs> you make your way out. Nobody uh, even... Um, I'm my cane. Nobody <laughs> second guesses you. They knew that you were going in to change into your costumes. Uh, you you get a couple of strange looks as, as you walk away, or people are like, that's really what they're wearing? I mean, I guess that's the show that's happening. Is this a new show? Maybe we should check it out. I mean, God, did you did you see the hog on that goblin? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I <think> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Pixie's and I have some taffy. <laughs> I hope it tastes like banana. <laughs> <laughs> they ignore you as you make your way oh, out, of, out into the tent. Um, the show still hasn't started, and the people that are preparing for it don't even look at you because they know that you're not part of the show. Um, but you are able to spot the Pixie with the drinks um, as she is flitting about on the other side of the uh, of the big top. Another round, please. Oh, you were talking to me? 
Uh, yeah, if you don't well, mind. What are you even wearing? Mm, now Torbeck is definitely bodacious tea. <laughs> oh! <laughs> bodacious tea! Why are, you, why are you wiggling your, your oh, eyebrows oh, at me like this? Oh, oh, mm. This is bodacious tea! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I didn't, are we coming up with other names? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, we'll I have two Cosmos, please. <laughs> I'm, I'm finding myself obvious, oddly attracted to you in that outfit. Mm, uh, Tor- Torbeck is also attracted to bodacious tea. <laughs> oh. Are you seeing anyone currently? Oh, well. Oh, no, he has a girlfriend. <laughs> it's a bit no. complicated. No, it's your best oh, gal. That's why it's gorgeous. Well, yeah. she is made of cardboard. <laughs> well, oh, that's why she's made of cardboard. Clementine. Oh, <laughs> Torbeck forgot. Just she because she's story she, straight. Just because, she, just because she's might be a little f- on the flatter side <laughs> and have a wooden personality, it's not nice to call her made oh, of cardboard. Oh, she's dumb and flat chested. That's what you meant by yeah, made of cardboard. That's not very nice. I, I get it. He's, he's, he's happily man. betrothed to Clementine. I could be dumb and flat chested if that's your thing. Oh, well, maybe meet Bodacious T after the show for a <laughs> yes, little something sure. extra. What side of the carnival do you want to meet on? Are you going to bring your friends or are you going to come along? Oh, well, uh, uh it's God's north right. side of the carnival. It's north. Okay, okay yeah, I'll meet you on the north side. What? I get off in, like, I don't know. 15 minutes if you'll be there then. Oh, and she winks. You give him yeah. privacy. I mean, Torbeck yeah. will be there in 15 north side of yeah. the carnival. Yeah, and then the right. shift ends in 30 if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can, uh, I can, uh, I can have a, yeah, I can have a peony take care of uh, the drinks for the oh, next round. If it's, if well, you, I mean, if you're not busy, that's fine. Well, we first we must have our next round because we're beginning to feel very silly. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm feeling a little silly, too. Yeah, like well, I had some giggle water, but I didn't because I don't drink on the job. But I could if you wanted me to. Anyway, what do you want? I'll take giggle water, whatever that is. Make oh, it, too. No, we, don't, we don't have that here. We just have the alcohol. Oh. We'll have the fruitiest, lightest, pinkest thing you have. Four of them, please. Okay, you want a love suck, sure. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Is that yeah. okay or a couple extra seeds? Oh, yeah. Oh. And it's the drink, seeds, if you want. It's like, a, it's like a succubus drink, you know? Oh, uh, bodacious tea will take one. <laughs> Taxi Jeremy will take one, too. <laughs> yeah. All right, he, you want one at two. Well, if Rogers, we'll stick with one. It's oh, all right. All right. It's yeah, okay. 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 It's okay. Nice. I don't hands, want to have to mother hand this. She hands it to you, but she like grazes her little tiny pixie hand across your hand. Uh-huh. I'll see you in fifteen, big boy. And then uh-huh. she hands the rest of you your drinks. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. A stiletto will take one, please. Oh, because uh-huh. uh-huh. my throat was cut in the back alley with the dagger. Oh, uh-huh. I thought you meant the stilettos that she was wearing. Oh, double entendre. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, I like your shoes. Are those Christian look? I don't know what that means. Are they Louboutins? I mean, I, I could check. Uh, oh, they've got the red sole. They're definitely loose. Oh, well, is that is that good or bad? Oh, that's really good. You want to oh, make sure good. you show the bottom of your shoes at all time. It's how you can get some of the men I hear. I've never done it myself. Oh, it's just gosh, no, this is a joke. It's just, it's just oh. This is a joke. It's just all fun, you know? He's with your pals. We're doing this. We're just this sitting there. We're just walking on the wild side. Yeah, yeah, it's ironic. It's ironic. It's all ironic. Yeah, it's just very ironic. Yeah, it was anyway. a dare. It was a dare, you know? Okay, well, you guys enjoy your drinks. Remember, don't drink them too fast. Well, be careful. All right, yeah. we'll see you in 15 minutes. I don't think minutes. I can flow the swelling. <laughs> All right. Toast, toast. Oh, okay. Um, to the greatest And she, she flits away quickly. You can see she's going somewhere to oh, change. Oh, you want to make a toast. Go ahead. Oh, if you don't mind, no. Torbeck doesn't get guys night out very often. You know, it's not about you. Uh, tea, tar, uh, and yeah, yeah, bodacious tea. Come on. Tea, well, tea. <laughs> Come on, in that outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Wouldn't it be funny if Frost never came back? <laughs> No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Unless. <laughs> hey, I'll drink to that. <laughs> well, that's not a very nice thing to say about our best lad Frosty. Oh, he's just a joke. Uh, he's he's not a Tor- funny joke. Torbeck. Tor- Torbeck was just kidding. <laughs> Torbeck didn't mean to ruin the mood. Yeah. Well, why don't you tell something nice and prepared to your, your betrothed, uh, lovely, beautiful Clementine? The yes. cardboard cutout? Uh, 
Here's to my lovely betrothed Clementine, and <laughs> certainly Clemmy. not that. No uh, Clemmy. Oh, <laughs> uh, Clemmy. Uh, now, for the first time, I'm viewing my uh, betrothed in a completely different light. <laughs> anyway. Clemmy, Clemmy. To guys' night. To guys' night. To guys' night. It's just It's ironic. <laughs> <laughs> God knows. <laughs> There's an ounce of seriousness. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why did I call her Flemmy Clemmy? <laughs> <laughs> Cardboard doesn't dry out very well. <laughs> Not with you around, Bodacious T. Uh, 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 no. That man doesn't dry out one bit, huh? Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm actually uh, cramping. Uh, <laughs> oh, I might piss myself. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've lost sight in my left eye. <laughs> if I black out, just keep playing. <laughs> That's uh. producer Rick if I've ever heard him. Okay. Uh. Um, oh, now so, I feel not less weird about being like a I'm, I'm gonna explain something though. I was literally like, you know, I feel really bad for Torbeck. So I'm gonna roll on an attraction meter for this pixie. And unless I have to get a natural 20, otherwise she's not interested. And I rolled fucking natural 20. <laughs> so I'm like, she's gotta be interested. She's gotta be. Those are the rules I said for myself. It's literally. It's all it's, downhill from, from here. It's Torbeck. right here. Beautiful natural 20. <laughs> wow. Well. What do we do for 15 minutes? I guess Tort Bodacious T is gonna abandon God's nice like he doesn't understand the difference. Oh, no, no. Gricko, you misunderstand. No, no, I, I'm taxidermy, thank you very much. Taxidermy, uh, but Torbeck apologizes. First off, Torbeck doesn't know which way north is. <laughs> Second of all, did you see the way that that, that pixie touched Torbeck's hand? She's clearly just setting me up for the fall. <laughs> I would never abandon the guys on guys' night. <laughs> oh, you're right. It probably was a sick joke that all the friends were gonna laugh at. You know? Yeah. So in order, to, in order to get the laugh first, Torbeck just sent her in a random direction. <laughs> Come on, boys. <laughs> you know that's a great way to approach your future. It isn't self-sabotaging at all. You don't need therapy. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, lads. Are you sure? I mean, this is it. Like, this is your one shot. Yeah, you definitely won't hook up with anybody after this. <laughs> she had to roll a 20 on that. <laughs> That's only 5% odd. Think, think, Torbeck. Torbeck's never been more sure of anything in Torbeck's life. The barometric pressure of the area dropped when she chucked her hand. Right. Torbeck just wants to dance. <laughs> You're you gonna kill this, but Dan Zeus dozens of bachelorette parties. <laughs> uh, oh my, you're gonna kill Rich. <laughs> Oh, we're I'm just gonna right. dance with the girls. I mean, guys, it's guys' night. We just wanna dance with the. Yeah, no, we don't need to worry about any girls. Come on. <laughs> okay, we got Bodacious T. Mm -hmm. We got Taxi Dermy. We got Stiletta. Okay. Uh, Fifi Nix. Oh! <laughs> Fifi Nix! Fifi oh, Nix. You know, nice. if I flame up, I'm gonna set these wings ablaze. Oh, <laughs> like fire, fire. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, look out. It's getting a little okay. hot in here. Flame me out. Oh, flame me out. Oh, it's ironic. It's ironic. It's ironic. <laughs> it's ironic. It's ironic. Oh my gosh! If you if you line up with those feathers, you're gonna look like a brilliant phoenix. Oh, they'd be able to see me all Chad the way. Chad wants from the... to know how to spell Fifi next, so if someone could type it out, that'd be awesome. F I F I N Y X. I know N I or N I or N Y. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Whatever you want. It's your name. F I F I N I X. Ooh. Or F P P. Just literally just that. I like that too. Yeah. Yeah. P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P O E P
isn't enjoying this at all. <laughs> we just want to dance. We're just here to dance around here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on, babe, this is your day. You got a few options here. We got, we, we can do the snail race, and I pulled the map. We got snail racing. We got the mystery mine. Ooh, very mysterious. We got the Pixie Kingdom. <laughs> uh, we got Bubble Pop Teapot. Uh, that's about all. Yeah, but we're not gonna go north in case we run into that pixie. All right, so we're gonna stay down here on the south side of the carnival. That's for the best. <laughs> um, what do you think? Well, uh, have you guys been to the Pixie Kingdom yet? It sounds like they might throw a good party. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> I love unicorns. I forgot. <laughs> anyway, just got to check that box. Let's continue. <laughs> Duly noted. <laughs> you make your way out of the carnival, or out of the big top, and you, you make your way down towards the southern side of the carnival. This is your first time being in this area of the carnival, oh, and you're... No! <laughs> 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 oh, you this. No, it's, it's, it's Superman. Oh! Sunshine Ooh. Goblin, you have no idea what you've missed. <laughs> there are no so words to describe what has been happening We're gonna here. We're going to go this way, west. Well, I grab some coffee. Down around this way, over to the Pixie Kingdom. No, you we'll have just Pixie left. Kingdom. You have just left the big top, and you're <laughs> making your way towards the Pixie Kingdom. This is the first time you've been on this side of the carnival, and you're surprised by the differences. Whereas the other half of the carnival, the um, the thoroughfare was lined with different sweet shops and or, like food stands and things. What you find on this side is actually quite different. You find quite a few small stalls that contain different snacks and things, blue frosted cupcakes, candied apples on a stick, euphoria cookies, saucer sized cookies dusted with particles of fairy dragon euphoria gas, evening berry wine, <clears throat> a sweet non-alcoholic drink, <clears throat> fairy bell nectar harvested from fairy bell flowers, pixie tarts, powdered, count powdered candy in little cups, sugar glazed button mushrooms, with a caution, may cause uh, hypnosis. <clears throat> Tree sap lollipops. The rest of the stalls offer games, each one at the cost of one ticket punch. But there are things such as All Mirage Ring Toss, Catch the Dragon by the Tail, Gnome Poetry Contest, Goblin Wrestling, Guess the Number of Feathers, and Outstare the Cyclops. <clears throat> oh shit, they got games! Okay, gosh not, game not. <laughs> Again, you think they're as rigged as the ones you made? <clears throat> nah, it couldn't possibly be that. They don't charge for ice here, Kremmy, so I think that they're probably not That's rigged. That's what I'm thinking. So I could can... recognize a rigged game from pretty far away. Well, maybe we do a little bit of inspecting for the next time we resurrect the carnival. Get some ideas. Yeah, see, see how it's going. I mean, we gotta oh. get ourselves a Cyclops, obviously. <laughs> so, Beck, may we uh, sidebar here? Yes, uh, I didn't mean to overhear, uh, Torbeck didn't mean to overhear, <laughs> but uh, Mr. Kremmy, if you do get the carnival back together, please keep Torbeck in mind for gainful employment. Well, you never broke your back fixing the Harris wheel, is that what you call it? Yeah. The Harris wheel that get designed, I mean. And the rides didn't have seat belts, so when the people got thrown out of them, you'd climb those trees pretty well and get them right back down. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. As you're having this conversation, you, you hear, Mom, why is his butt out? Oh, Lisa, don't look. Yeah, shut up, kid. <laughs> oh, fucking kid. How can you <laughs> look at his ass cheeks? The happiness meter down by one oh, piece. No! As Gideon screams at this child. Yeah, fuck oh. off, kid. Oh, uh, I, uh, well, okay. Uh, uh, Tor Torbeck will allow you to have your sidebar. Torbeck will walk over here. Oh, no, you already, you guys already covered it. I was going to ask Crummy once we resurrect Carnival the crew, we could, you know, invite Torbeck back. Oh, you good. Torbeck, I do. I'm starting to like you. You know what the best part about you is? Torbeck can't begin to guess. <laughs> <laughs> You don't mind getting paid in IOUs. <laughs> There's nothing better than that. So, you know what? As soon as we do, you're high. You'll be our first employee. Oh, oh that is a great relief <laughs> off Torbeck's shoulders. <clears throat> we have a whole lot magical adventure to go on, though, in the Feywild, so it might be a while. Yeah, wow. don't, don't wait up for us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, you, need, you need to find gainful employment. <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> employment like right now if you're going to be a family man and support Clementine. Uh, Torbeck supposes Gringo's right. And if all goes well... You're we'll as join- red as Gideon right now. <laughs> if all goes well, we'll join the fairies at court and then we'll never work a day in our lives and we'll drink enchanted wine. Oh! <laughs> and... and uh, <laughs> Just have a good old time. If, you know what I mean? If that oh, happens, yeah. can Torbeck finally take off this costume? Torbeck's beginning to be able to taste his own thong. It's <laughs> <laughs> probably one of the better tastes you've had in your mouth. <laughs> Torbeck is sad because Gideon's right. <laughs> Let's play some games. Let's play some games. Gosh, no. What are we playing, yeah, fellas? What are we, uh, we playing? Okay. Once oh. again, your choices are the Old Mirage Ring Toss. <laughs> Catch the Dragon by the Tail. All right. I know what an Old Mirage is. Gnome Poetry Contest. I don't want to do that. Goblin okay, Wrestling. Right. <laughs> guess the Number of Feathers. And outstare the Cyclops. Wait, what? Wait, what? did she say wrestling? But I was just gonna say. Oh, Mirage! Oh my goodness! Look, they got Old Mirage! Ah, you so cute! Come on, fellas! It's, we're gonna do the rain toss first. What the fuck is an armor? Oh, it is a cute little bunny like creature with. Kremmy. A horn. It is basically a unicorn bunny. It is not unlike a unicorn. A unicorn bunny? A unicorn bunny. That's the best kind of bunny. Let's go. It is the best kind of bunny. Oh, I cannot believe they have one here. I have not seen one in the flesh. I've only heard of stories. Let's go. You know we can do that some later. Let's go. Come on. You quickly make your way in your outfits. You do get some attention from the people milling about, but most people find you quite entertaining. And uh, outside of the child that you screamed at, um, it the. you don't seem to be deterring the mood of the carnival I'm at this point. I'm a you're... little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> fucking kid. Yeah. Fucking t- it was Tina. Hey, yeah, Mind fucking your business, Tina. Yeah. Fucking kid looking at Torbeck, handsome figure he strikes, telling him to put his ass cheeks away. <laughs> this isn't a fucking fairy carnival. <laughs> God damn it. What the fuck's that kid even doing here? Piece of shit. <laughs> You tell him, kids. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, I hate kids. <laughs> Torbeck, you got one night only. You know, guys' night. Guys' <laughs> night. <laughs> kid shows up, starts mouthing off. Guys, I just told you, I'm sorry to you. Put your ass cheeks away. Put your ass cheeks away. That phone's so far up, you can probably taste it. Don't fuck <laughs> off. Doesn't that child know that it is all ironic? <laughs> and it is guys' night. <laughs> What are we fucking drunk in a child circus in drag? What the hell is that, man? Yeah, it's just ironic. Well, the stupid on. kid, where's he get off? Or she? I don't even know anymore. Torbeck so is mad. just happy to be included. Yeah. <laughs> okay, for, for the overarch toss, please. Do we actually see them? Oh my oh. holy fuck. Get him going off. <laughs> That oh, that doesn't sound that like there's any kind of deep seated oh, questions. That was beautiful. Oh, listen. <clears throat> You, you don't need therapy either, Gideon. <laughs> it's just God's not. It's God's not. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you don't have any unresolved issue with your own parents. <laughs> so you make child. your way to the Amaraj ring toss. Okay. <laughs> oh, I fucking love her. Hey. You make your way to the Amaraj ring toss and you see this beautiful stall where at the very center of it, you do see this really adorable... Um, chestnut brown bunny uh, sitting uh, perched on top of a uh, a countertop. It's beautiful gold spiraled horn pointing straight up to the sky. It's um, it's little it's little eyes just absolutely freaking adorable. I'm just gonna show you what this looks like. Sorry. Oh my gosh. Oh! Oh! Can, can, oh can it's not a, re- it's not a real one. The... Wait, is it? Would you classify it as an animal? Yeah, it's it's oh, a it's real ugly. one. Ugly, I hate it. <laughs> it's a monstrosity. It's real. Talk, I think. Mm. Yeah, you Is hate it? that? Oh my god. Well, I hate all that. animals and kids. No, it's so. a monster. Look, I mean, if you look, it's oh, not. Oh, is a it not an animal? Well, I mean, it depends on how you define animal. But I don't know. How do you think the Feywild defines animals when you get horribly cursed to hate animals? <laughs> oh, I forgot you still had that. <laughs> well, I animals said, and kids. I know, said so. to remember which ones oh, you had held shit. over from last oh. week. And my skin is pink. 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> just so you know. Man, you really are. Oh, Fifi Nicks. Fifi Nicks. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. I totally oh, forgot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this, well, even though they're not real Almirages, they look... That, oh, man, that is a great carving. I wonder who No, it's that. a real Almirage. Oh, yes? Oh, yeah. my goodness. Oh, they're so beautiful. And look at how beautiful and cute they are. And nice. as you make your way up to it, you see a, a small female goblin. Hi. Welcome to the Almirage Ring Toss. This Almirage is no mirage. Adorn its <laughs> horn with two or three wing- rings to win a prize. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I would like to try, please. This is just a joke. But it's okay, Bodacious T, you're first up for the ring toss. Look how cute they are. This all mirage is no mirage. Adorn its horn with two or three rings to win a prize. Oh, okay. all right. Well, uh, well, do we have to get our tickets punch? I'll... Yeah, yeah. It's one punch per oh. per toss. Oh, you're you're all playing? Yeah, we're all playing. Yeah, um, it's gosh now. We all got to play all the games. Uh, yeah. Torbeck didn't realize that there might be a limit to the fun. <laughs> oh, we'll just get. We'll just buy. We'll just buy more. Uh, we're guessing you can buy more. We don't really know. But... Oh. This feels Torbeck with existential dread. <laughs> oh, you still have seven more, right? Torbeck's not so sure. I'm not going to take it like that. I'm not taking it like that. He's going to get consumed by witches. <laughs> oh, well, we lost Torbeck. Oh, oh the big girl. Oh, oh God, it's a little oh, oh, scabafa. It's scabafa on you. I have a... Uh, Torbeck has a deep, horrible feeling. He's made a grave mistake. <laughs> You're one of those oh. adventurers who just stockpiles all the potions and never uses a one because you think that you're going to have to save it for later. It's an analog to Torbeck's life. <laughs> <laughs> well, or maybe that means you should take more risks. Anyways. This now, all mirage is no mirage. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Adorn yeah. its horn with two or three uh, rings to win a prize. Okay, how do we play? Okay. Oh, here are your three <laughs> rings, and she hands uh, each of you a set of three I'm a rings. mouse. Uh, all right. Duh. See my ears? Yeah, just see my ears? Duh. Okay. Um... <laughs> You'll toss the rings, and if you get two or three rings, you win a prize. Um, Torbeck is ready. I look at the rings. How do you think these, this is rigged? What do you think? Well, the problem not using the monkey on. So remember how at our carnival we made the, 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 the rings very slightly elliptical shaped and the pegs very slightly elli- elliptical shaped and it's ever so slightly wider than the rings. So it was, it's absolutely impossible to ever get one on. It's just good design. Exactly it's good right. design philosophy. They never landed. <laughs> Well, let's see. Let's oh, just, just, I feel like this is big enough to land on that cute little album. Yeah, cool. and, as, and as you get the rings, all of your fake curses fade away from you as you oh. all sober up. What the fuck am I wearing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tormek is sad again. <laughs> Oh, look down. <laughs> it's where your where your uh, hog had been is now just a like flaccid sack of See, I can replace Derek. You better watch your ass, buddy. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for your job. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> let me just. Just, just tuck it all back. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Okay. So all the ones from last time, from yeah. last session. Yeah. Uh, so you're no longer pink. You're no longer. You no longer hit kids and it's animals. It's just a prank. <laughs> just ironic. It's just, just a guy's night prank. Just guys no. outfits on a fake person. No, the outfits yeah, no, are not. That was the alcohol. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well I miss my egg. <laughs> You're gonna have to go one at a time. Uh, 
Uh, Tormek is ready to go. Okay. Gosh, it's his last knot. Go ahead like. and step up towards the Almirage. Get your toes oh. at the line, but no further. Mm. Toss one ring first, mm. then the next, then the next. <laughs> one ring gets you nothing. Two gets you one prize. Three gets you two. Ooh. All right, here we go. And uh, Torbeck will attempt to throw the first one. I'll roll a dexterity, uh, dexterity check for me, please. So just add my... Mm-hmm. Oh, here comes Bodacious T. Look at this. Oh, in true Torbeck fashion, Torbeck gets an eight. <laughs> wow, that's that's really sad. You didn't even get close to the Al Mirage. Go ahead and throw the next one. Torbeck knows and throws the next one. <laughs> Come on, Torbeck. A 24. Oh. oh my God. You were able to hit the <gasps> Almirage in the head with that very heavy metal ring. Ah. It probably has a concussion now, oh. but you'll get one prize. Ah. <laughs> oh. Nice work. What has Tormek done? Oh. Well, you may have killed it, but. Oh. Oh. No, oh. no, no, no. We, oh. we can't kill these things. Oh, yeah. No, no that was bad, no. maybe. It's sturdy. It's been hit in the face a lot today. Uh, Go ahead and uh, throw you your sure? next oh, ring. Tor- Torbeck is done with this and throws the last one. <laughs> 16. Oh, that sucks. So close, but it bounced <laughs> off. One roll on the prize table, though. If you'd like to win something, roll a d8. Oh, well, I suppose. Did you get one? Uh-huh. Oh, you only got one? Yeah, you didn't get anything. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you, I'm <laughs> actually kidding. <laughs> this is very torn. <laughs> this is really sad to say, but you win nothing. Who's next? Wait, are you sure? I mean, it's guys now. It's guys now. Come on. Let me one. think. Cl- no. <laughs> Who's next? Uh, Torbeck just doing Torbeck things. <laughs> And all you hear, all you hear is the the clicking of my heels as I walk away from the booth, and I stand like behind Garico, and I'm just like towering over him, and my head's on the It's about at this point that you hear a loud wailing cry, and the entire mood of uh, mood of the carnival drops by one. Oh God! <laughs> the wheels are falling out. Uh, um, I want you all to roll an in. Intelligent. No, a perception Uh-oh. check. Oh, that's oh. a no. little better. Yeah, perception's fine. Mm. Even if oh, it's not right. Perception, you say. To, to 25, do the trick, mm. Dungeon Master. Another natural 20. Oh. Oh. Plus 4 is a 24. 16. Torbeck uh, is wallowing in grief with an 8. Uh, Greco, Kremi. It takes a moment, but it becomes very clear that this is. You're surprised by the noise that this pixie can clearly make, because it has been about 20 minutes since <laughs> Zorbeck left and never showed up to the spot at the north. And she is crying and wailing in sadness as she's been stood up. Oh, no. Uh, well, that's probably nobody of relevance. Yeah, Let's keep playing. Yeah, no. Oh, gosh, no. Gosh, no. Gosh, no. Zorbeck doesn't even hear it. <laughs> he is completely imperceptive. Who's you next? Torbeck? I mean, Torbeck? Torbeck. <laughs> I don't remember what your name is. Oh, no, his name was Lurky. Oh, oh yeah, what? Lurky. Yeah. This right, all mirage up. is no mirage. Okay, okay. Yeah, we got yeah, it. Adorn its yeah. horn with two or bit, three you know? rings to Tell win a prize. Get head. Keep walking it back. All right, I'm up. All Go right, I'll, I'll throw it. One on Oh, uh, dexterity. Check. Uh, just, just plus just plus yeah. straight dex. Uh, all right, I got a five. <laughs> you got a five? Yeah. That is unfortunate. For someone as strong as you are, you were unable to get the ring even close to the Almirage. Well, I just, you know, missed a little bit. Just over there, but I'm just warming up, okay? <sighs> <laughs> Come on, Gia, you're better than this. Ten. There's really no point in you even throwing the third no, one. I'm going to throw the third one. At this point, you can't even win a prize. Uh, well, I landed the third one. 
so. How do you know? I don't, actually. Well, maybe I'm looking with my eyes, but <laughs> 20? Wow, you were able to land the third ring. What a shame that you can't win a prize and you just wasted all of our time. <laughs> well, how about this, though? Hey, I, I you won still got one. one, Gideon. Lurk, you won one. What if we combine that to a two? Or you let him roll on the prize table. It's right. guys night. You let know? me think That's about that guys for night. a minute. Come on. No. All right. Well, Who's I'm gonna going next? Us. I'm going to win us a couple of <laughs> Okay, Kremi, you're up. I have, keen, I have a keen eye. Here we go. You love unicorns, and unicorn bunnies are very similar. All right. Uh, 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 I'm going to throw them all three kind of like quickly in succession, and I'll just roll all three of them. Go ahead and throw your first, second, third. Go ahead and throw them all at the same time. Sure, that's going to oh, work out okay, well okay. for you. Hold up. Hold up. Let's do one more right here. That's pretty good. Did I redeem us? Let's see. Uh, Dex, you say. That is a 21, a uh, 16, and a 20. Wow. You were able to get two rings onto the Amirage by throwing them all at the same time. I think that might be cheating, but I don't really want to look. So congratulations. Yeah, they don't you, pay you enough. You get this prize. Go ahead and roll on. Uh, roll a D8. Hey! Oh, hey! Oh, it would figure that Mr. Kremi, the smartest person I know, would succeed. <laughs> oh, Stiletta! The three. Oh, my, yes, yeah, Stiletta. Oh. Wow, this is so exciting for you. You have won a packet of pixie dust. This is a wondrous item and uncommon. As an action, you can sprinkle this dust on yourself or another creature you can see within five feet of you. The recipient gains a flying speed of 30 feet and the ability to hover for one minute. If the creature is airborne when this effect ends, it falls safely to the ground, taking no damage and oh, landing on its fun? feet. A small packet holds enough pixie dust for one use. Wait, I can only use it one time? Yes. You think it's in D&D Beyond? Yes, because <laughs> we own Witchlight in D&D Beyond. Hey, I got it. Pixie does. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, you cute little armorages. I hope I don't give you concussions. I'm going to try to throw it as lightly as possible. Who's next? This is all. This all mirage is, is no, no mirage. mirage. <laughs> Adorn its horn with two or three, three rings, rings to win, to a, win prize. a prize. <laughs> okay. Uh, Gosh, if only Hootsie was here. <laughs> oh yeah, what do I have? Here? I still have a pumpkin, by the way. I'll just. We don't need to role play this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One, two, three. Three. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well. You know what? I'm not going to twist. Greco, pull the tour back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a nine. <laughs> wow. How funny. The weird petrified mouse wasn't able to get the ring on the unicorn bunny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a weird petrified sexy man. <laughs> Let's give it another shot, you old... Uh, okay, here we go. Oh, 17? Wow, just barely. It clipped the horn and could have easily fallen off, but instead it spun around and landed. Oh, Congratulations. Oh, oh. Oh, wow. hey, what good. a mix of emotions from our wonderful, exhilarating narrator. <laughs> okay, Greco, don't mess up yeah. the last one. Okay, that's why we're speaking to her and God. Okay, I'm gonna do a little push. I'm gonna do a little bit of, okay. Wow, you missed. Uh, Who would have thought? We're all surprised. <laughs> Aww. Aww. <laughs> Thanks for playing. Enjoy the witch-like carnival. Bye-bye now. Mm.
Well, okay. Well, well that was fun. At least well, one of us uh, was skilled enough well, to get Well, at least we got to see some cute homerages. Guys' <laughs> night out is less fun <laughs> when you're sober. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling a little silly now. Oh, the irony is quickly <laughs> melting. <laughs> You'll... You'll see a. Uh, oh God! Oh, it's still ironic. Oh, it's still oh, ironic. Uh, <laughs> I do feel this is a little tight, <laughs> and I'm starting to become untucked. <laughs> I'm not sure what I was thinking. Yeah, tonight's <laughs> adventures and chill is actually called adventures untucked. So you can join us for that. Oh, oh, oh my God. God. Uh, you'll see a dark. flash of blue <laughs> and then a blue glowing uh, spirit all mirage will be where I was. Oh, oh my god, off. Gringo, is that you? Oh man, look at how cute you are. I love unicorns. Mm. And I love unicorn rabbits and I love unicorn goblin rabbits. Do you have any like stuffed uh, those things? Can I buy one? You cannot buy one. You have to win. Would you like to punch your ticket for another chance? Are you saying I can win? A stuffed animal that looks like one of those things? Yes. Please. Hey, the game kind of sucks. Uh, right, punch it. Take, take, take Still it uh, how <laughs> many more punches do you have? I got two left. Look. All I need is one more. You have to be careful. <laughs> uh, same, same strategy again. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a 19, a 13, and a 6. <laughs> you get, you're able to get one of the rings on, on top of the Al Mirage, and she looks down and says, Wow, how anticlimactic. Oh. You went from winning once to winning not at all. I wasted my punch. Thank you for your time. Goodbye. My ears will go back. <laughs> oh. That's one of the cutest things Torbeck has ever seen. And so wait, what are, what are the consequences if I steal one? Hmm. Oh, so I, you get not sucked good. to hell. That's pretty good, Gideon. <laughs> what world yeah, do you well, live in? Well, I mean, we saw the gnome guy get sucked to hell through a mirror. <laughs> my soul. Did My he, pig. Did he enjoy it? Uh, well, actually, it kind of looked like he did. Yeah, but... Yeah, Torbeck yeah. doesn't see the problem here. <laughs> I didn't hear him complaining. You know what? You are making a strong point. Wait, so... Somebody steal one of those unicorns and get sucked straight to hell through a mirror. Oh, what? maybe find Hootsie. Maybe this is how we get Hootsie back. So you want to you wanna get sucked to hell, don't you? Who doesn't? <laughs> well, look, you're one of the stealthiest fellas I've ever met. Why don't you steal one of those Ooh. beautiful plush rabbit unicorn things? <laughs> I'll shift back into Gricko form. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? You could not get sucked to hell. Uh, and I will guarantee I can hear everything you're saying if you really want a stuffed all mirage they are one of the prizes available at every single one of the game booths <laughs> you roll on the same table no matter what game you play hot dog uh, well, 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 we could win that <laughs> wrestling one pretty easily or worst case scenario we steal from someone who didn't hear Torbeck's <laughs> plan <laughs> I mean, have you seen Torbeck steal? He's very good. <laughs> no, he is, oh, we're not going to come back under cover of darkness. Don't no, worry. No, no, no. Don't, well, it was very nice. We appreciate your energy and the commentary. Goodbye, cute little Amarajis. Goodbye. Uncle Bye. Rico will miss you. Can I pet one? You can ask it and see if it will jump to you. Oh, may I too? Can I, can I just give you a little pat, a little unicorn bunny? Uh, roll an animal handling check. Oh, fuck. Not persuasion? I'm not persuading this? Oh, I will no. say you can roll at advantage because you are ge you are genuinely entranced by it. Uh, it's wisdom, right? That's 13. Yeah. Oh. Uh, you you look and you see that it, it bats its uh, fluffy eyelashes and you see that it starts to tap its little toes and then it quickly jumps into your arms and starts oh. snuggling into oh. you. Aren't you cute? Uh, oh! Can I pet one too? What's your name, fella? It chirps. Oh, Mimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimim
All right. You call him me 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 William. Is that show for me 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 William? Pretty good. Oh, me 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 Will. Oh, call call you me 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 Bill. What? I'm a ring was a bit my uh <laughs> going towards the horn. Oh, did you throw a ring at him? <laughs> no, yeah, I'm just doing a ring. I mean, it's, 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 it's just a, it's just a I thought I was ring. just working on my time in practice. I threw uh, a ring at him and you know. I mean, you're lucky you didn't die. Oh, okay. Yeah, you drop the Amarage on the ground, it dies. Uh, no, I would have held him. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, my, I would have let my whole hand break before I dropped the yeah. oh, oh, I'm sorry, Mimi. At least it didn't hit you, Mimi, me, 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 William. Be free. Oh, back to your imprisonment. <laughs> it hops back onto the counter and then jumps back over to its spot. I'm glad I brought the uh, but We'll save you, Mimi, me, me, William. All right, let's play to our relative strengths from now on. No, we're all gonna do everything. Well, just based on how that went, Torbeck <laughs> thinks that was probably Torbeck's best chance. <laughs> <laughs> you, you do have very long arms. I'm surprised you. Torbeck, why didn't you just reach out your giant arms and just drop it onto the Omarage? Torbeck is now painfully aware of how freakishly long his own fingers are. You could have just extended your arm and just dropped it very daintily. Uh, one of the rules was not to go past the line. <laughs> but your arm could go past it, you yeah. just toes can. With your feet. Yeah. Do you realize that, you're, that you're, you are able to reach 10 feet? Torbeck yeah, relies, you actually could have just Torbeck it. relies on Mr. Kremmy for the idea. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a fair point. He's, he's a good follower. He's, like you said, he's not a leader. Okay, uh, well, what's our next, what's our next game for God's Night? Game Night, God's Night, Game Night. Look, I told Gary we do wrestling next. So yeah, that's what we're going. Wrestling. Oh, you know what they call it. It's not just wrestling. It's a goblin wrestling. It's a goblin wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> so your days are numbered, Fifi oh, Nicks. Okay. <laughs> Taxi Dermy uh, is taxi. coming for you, Fifi Nicks. <laughs> yeah, okay, Taxi Dermy. Okay, okay Fifi. Uh, We're going to see. Uh, Torbeck would buy a ticket to that show. <laughs> <laughs> I, brought, I brought so much of that uh, that processed slop that they feed at the staff thing. There's so much soy oil all over me. I think it's in a mud pit. I think it's going to come oh, straight off. That? Yeah, we just jumped Oh, I'm mud. already greased up. <laughs> Squeak, squeak. How serendipitous. <laughs> you make your way to the goblin wrestling area, and you see that there is a there is a very tall and very buff goblin standing on a barrel as he's calling out, Strong folks, test your metal in a goblin wrestling game. That guy's Jack. Holy cow. You're looking to play? We all are. The four of us is guys now. All right, pass me your tickets. This is all I'm and he punches all of your tickets. You oh, punch them wait, yourself. I don't know about. Come on, come on. <laughs> um, come on, Torbeck. The rules are as follows. You are introduced to them. A small participant has to pin one goblin, while a medium participant has to pin one goblin while also wrestling two goblins. <laughs> Winning the game requires a successful athletics check That's contested funny. by the goblin. Two goblins working together make one check with advantage. Uh -huh. Oh! Uh -oh. What if you're a large creature? Are you large? <laughs> he can be. He could be. Uh, often, 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 this big fella needs three goblins to take him down. <laughs> oh, who said that? <laughs> I think what you're a, right. What a very austere observation. Mm, certain parts of Gideon are very large. <laughs> yeah, my most of me. <laughs> <laughs> Who is first? Well, I think I'll show you guys how it's done. <laughs> All right, everyone, gather around. We have the one and only Cake Chad. What? In the red corner, we have Cake Chad against 
Glorbis, Glingus, Pingus, Dingus, and Mingus. Whoa, oh, that's six of them. Glorbis, Pingus, Dingus, and Mingus, and Among Us? Very classic goblin Well, Mingus. five goblins? That's six. No, that was five. Didn't you have an uncle named Glorbo? <laughs> no, I did. Remember when you, when you came to visit Uncle Glorbo? I hope he's doing well. <laughs> <laughs> he isn't. <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> you know that you missed it. You're, anyway, we'll, 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 we'll talk about Uncle Globo. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just when Torbeck thinks things can't get worse. <laughs> he finds out Glorbo's dead. Everything Torbeck touches turns to shit. <laughs> Anyone can add quotes, by the way. Yeah. Anyone can add quotes. Uh, right? oh, Jesus. Uh, 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 I really so have to that, wrestle. I have to wrestle five goblins. Yeah. So with that, I need you to make a strength check. These are horrible odds. And oh, there's athletics the contest for them. <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> Do you have a walkie-talkie on you? You're gonna need to call the first aid. First aid. Fairies, but not for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they got rocky talkies over there, you see? All right, I rolled for him. Uh, All right, you well. You roll one athletics check. If I'm going to show five goblins how it's done, I'm going to give them a little bit of a, a little bit of the action. And I'm going to gear up my, uh, my, my flame powers just a bit. Um, there's, there's, cer- pulse. there's certainly no way this can go wrong. <laughs> yeah, thief! I mean, boo! <laughs> go goblins! What, what am I wrong? Athletics or yes, just athletics? Strength? Athletics. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, are you advantaged? No, 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 you are. Oh my God. Twenty-two. Nice. It's a tie. Whoa. So we resolve a tie by re-rolling. Oh, just oh, stacked so goblins. Oh, 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 oh. Are they all each other's shoulders? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. It's like playing chicken. I just, I just grappled the top <laughs> one. Oh, he's got his arms on my shoulders. You, you go in there and you stack a goblin scum. Yeah, in the head. One Popeye's one. <laughs> <laughs> it's the pygmies from World of Warcraft. And <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, my God. That's why you got advantage. Oh. <sighs> Two toes <laughs> I really want to beat the stack. Yeah. 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 Uh. <laughs> Stack of goblins. Their center of gravity is like so high that we just. Yeah. They'd be like a wiggler from Mario. <laughs> yeah. It is like a wiggler it's from really, Mario. You punch the segments. <laughs> yeah. I want you. Well, Derek's not here. Ugh. <laughs> You may wonder who it is. You can you can hear with a supernatural precision. So much so that you can hear into the veil. Mikey, can you be chuckles for me again? (laughs) (laughs) I uh I rolled a I rolled a twenty-five for my my strength check, my athletics check. I can hear your goblin hearts beat. You're going to, oh, God. No. Oh, I, no. I haven't seen this many greased up goblins since Rush Week at Clown Car. No, not him. How is it even possible I accidentally killed that other clown Hudson? <laughs> Why 
can I hear a pin drop and also my greatest nemesis? Whose name I didn't even know until two sessions ago. And you are able to, in your rage at hearing Chuckle's voice, you are able to wrestle these goblins to the ground because you were able to take out five of them when they were able to roll twice at advantage. You get to roll twice on the prize. Nice. The prize table. Oh, yeah. Good dog. It's D8. Uh, Torbeck always knew Gideon could win. Two. Come on, come on. Okay. Come on. And eight. Come on, come on. Please. For your two, you win a wooden wand with eight charges. Mm. As an action, you can expend one of the wand's charges to cast the pre- prestidigitation cantrip. This wand can't be recharged. As an eight, you get a stuffed all mirage plushie. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, Gideon Torbeck has seen that wand before. Clementine owns one. <laughs> oh, yeah, what, what would a cardboard cutout need with a with a wand? It <laughs> moves around a lot and makes noises. Uh, and she's the... excited by this. <laughs> oh Torbeck isn't sure. <laughs> yeah, you don't recognize the look. <laughs> 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 you got it, Bray. Congratulations. You got it. You win. Yes, you finally got it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Gideon really is better than Tom. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I know one little young lad who's gonna love this uh, Mirage plushie. You How about it? you just crummy and do it? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. The, oh um, my God. Uh, you know, that's for you, buddy. This is a gift in season. We're at the, the carnival. Oh, that's very nice of you. Oh, I'm in the spirit. Crummy. You know, I'm covered in the blood of goblins and wrestling crummy, and sweat. You attune to this cursed item. <laughs> when you do. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's not a cursed item. (laughs) (laughs) The curse activates when given with the purest form. The horn is capable of casting the minor illusion cantrip three times a day. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is the most gracious thing you've ever done, and you've done a lot of things for me. Uh... Uh, how can I? Can I? You want to trade for it? Can when I you, when you squeeze dust? it, it go. It makes the squeaky noises. The. Do the what was it? The William. William. Get you a man that fights five goblins and wins you a plushie. That crummy. That's adorable. Look at that. It looks just like a laugh, like a mirage, and it goes me 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 me. Will you? And it's even got a magical unicorn horn. Oh, it does have a magical unicorn horn. Gosh, I wish I could give that to Hootsie if she wasn't stolen by witches from hags from. Well, I mean, you can get your own one and give it to her, but I'm not gonna give this one. That's oh, maybe this one that I'll Yeah, I mean, we might not ever even see her again. She's, you know, snagged up by witches, so she might not even. Well, oh, hags. I mean, yeah. What's the difference? Yeah, though? that's fair. It could be hags. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Torbeck is ashamed to admit for a brief moment he thought Gideon was giving Torbeck the plot. <laughs> and who is up next to fight with the goblins? Wow, Do we yeah. have Kremi LaCrue, Grico Grimgrin, or yeah. Turkey Lurkey? It's <laughs> <laughs> Torbeck. <laughs> You know, Gideon. Turkey Lurkey is up next oh, in the blue corner oh against. God. Uh, Bongo and Zongo. <laughs> what's the point? Oh, okay. There may be blood all over you, Gideon, but their open wounds is the least of their worries. With my ghost eyes, I can see they have the silent menace of gingivitis. <laughs> They shouldn't have lied to their dentists about flossing. <laughs> oh my god, you, Chuggles, you know what's ironic is you wanted to go into taxidermy. My friend here is dressed and named as taxidermy, and I still don't understand a goddamn word you say. <laughs> Yeah. What? 
fuck are you talking to? I'm talking to Chuckles. Chuckles? What? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Well, I can hear him. I can also hear into your soul. Chuckles? What? Yeah, I can hear, I don't know, the innards of your soul. I mean, your sound's kind of like... <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. That's cool. At least you guys have fun with sound. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's my sound? Well, so it's, you like, know, it does that like... Bump, 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 bump. Oh, I'm in his jazz. Bum, bum, yeah, I'm in his jazz. Bum, yeah. Bum, 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 yeah. Bum, 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 yeah. Don't stare uh, at the ass for <laughs> game ears. Yeah, um, it well. sounds like... <laughs> 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 yeah, it's kind of depressing. And then there's also all the whales and the gingivitis from those guys. It's kind of drowning it out. So I don't know if maybe I'm just not picking up on yours quite clearly enough. Oh, but, that's fair. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I got, something's going on. Some, you know, There's a pixie out there crying, saying it's 15 minutes. Those should be done in four. Oh, uh, Torbeck has to go wrestle. <laughs> <laughs> I jump in the pit. <laughs> you jump in the pit. Ah, it's Torbeck! You are a... You <laughs> I are mean Torbeck! <laughs> I mean Lurky! You Get are him, up Lurky against Turkey. two goblins. I have very long arms, creature. so I'd like to try to use that to, like, get to them before they can get to me. And I would like, say you can roll an advantage as well. Thank you. Oh Is it just uh, athletics? Yes, athletics. Oh, uh, Torbeck is proficient. <laughs> Which is a 19. You, oddly enough, you get in and you shamble over, and with your two arms, you just oh. knock them together, knock them out, and then fall on top of them. Oh, hey! Ah! Wahoo! Torbeck had a lot of pent-up feelings. <laughs> Torbeck might have gone too hard. Well, you do notice breathing, that, so. that one of them is bleeding out of their ears. Uh-oh. Tor Torbeck's coming back. Now, <laughs> and I'll just like climb out of the pit. Hey, don't worry, buddy. They got taffy for that. Oh, <laughs> you hear a wee 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 as like a small ambulance of candy striper pixies comes up, and on a stretcher, they pull out a uh, bongo, bingo, bango, oh. <laughs> bingo, and bongo. Oh, what has Torbeck done? Torbeck will never get gainful employment with a rap sheet. <laughs> <laughs> but you are able to roll on the prize table. Hooray. Just one. I had a Torbeck got a two. Uh, you also get a prestidigitation wand. Oh, oh a nice gift for coming to Yeah, you can finally satisfy uh, <laughs> The old one was getting a little used up. <laughs> Rubbed down to almost nothing. <laughs> Torbeck. <laughs> Torbeck can finally show his face back home. <laughs> it makes it even funnier. This is a fucking cardboard cutout. Oh no, Torbeck's wife is real. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I was filled with more <laughs> of emotions, and I decided to drown them in whiskey sours and plates of walnut brownies. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Okay. I gotta stop accidentally killing clowns. <laughs> Cause then they haunt me and they say really depressing things. Yeah, I mean, are you sure this is like actually chuckles? It might be all in your head. I mean, dude. it could be klutzy. This is becoming kind of like a rap sheet of I actually have a clown kill count written down in my, my, oh my little God. book here. You know, it could be either one of them. I don't really know what klutzy sounded like. I killed him 600 yards away. <laughs> With a meatball, for God's sakes. Klutzy is here. <laughs> Oh no! You will know his voice soon. <laughs> you will know his wrath even more intimately. Well, I'm not worried about his wrath because he dropped like a house of cards. All right, yeah, it's hit by a damn meatball. By striking him down, his clown powers became more powerful than you could even imagine, Gideon. In death we are one. In death we are strong. In death we are the Honk Legion. <laughs> you feel that awesome? I'm sitting in stars. Yeah. Hang on, nobody talk to me. <laughs> Let's just stop having that. Okay. Good job, Bodacious T and oh. Fifi Nix. Oh. It's time for Taxi Dermy to go gobbo or gobbo. 
And next we have Tax E Dermy ne uh, going against Jim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jim! I didn't recognize you before the Crisco all over you. How you doing, lad? Oh, hey, Greco, what's up, man? Yeah, it's been eight years. I guess I've got to kind of pin you down under the dirt now with the rules. I kind of want to win a cool prize. What are you wearing, buddy? Like oh, oh, no, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, no, it's just, it's a prank. <laughs> oh, I lost a bear. <laughs> Guys, no, nah, you know what it is, Jim. <laughs> you know what it is, Jim. He taps you on the back. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, no, it's, it's ironic and dialogue. It's a joke. It's a joke. I've, jokes. We're just I've been there, there and you know, I've had my guys tonight. Yeah, guys tonight. You know, boys will be You boys. know me, Jim. I'm a party animal. They call me Party Animal Jim. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, just, well, maybe maybe uh, I'm, I'm going to meet up with Jerry later. Maybe if you Sometimes want to they call me Jim and all. You know? Jim and all. Oh, the Jim and all. The Jim and subliminal messages. Yeah, that, subliminal Jim and all. These uh, fun Yeah, anyway, do you want to wrestle? Do. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. It's, it's already weird enough. Right. Okay, let's not make it weird yeah. enough. Let's go. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> put him in the dirt, but don't look like you enjoy it so much. It's more like mud. Yes. <laughs> Hit him right in the mud. We're ruining oh, Get him down the ground. Oh. Oh. This is the most embarrassing thing that you have ever yeah. seen. <laughs> They're pawing at each other, but then you notice that they start trying to wrestle, but they both kind of like it. And so they're like holding on to each other a little inappropriately. <laughs> and like Jim starts rubbing Gricko's back, and Gricko's like, huh, huh, all right. Uh, and eventually oh, they just fall over. And, and Jim just kind of gives in and lays there while Gricko lays on top of him. I don't know where the Crisco <laughs> begins and I end. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, this is just a joke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, I'd like my prize, please. Excuse me, please, and thank you. Greco, nice job on guys and I. Oh, yeah, no, not. Just Jim's an old man of mine. He's another guy. What kind of job that was? Yeah, you know, you know, I went to my guys and I. I guess it was nice. Yeah, it was some kind of job on guys and I. Careless sure. Whisper starts playing in the yeah. back. Uh, <laughs> uh, with that, you can roll on the prize table. Uh, what what did I roll? D8? A D8, yeah. A six. You know um. What that is? You get, uh, you watch as a, um, you watch as a, um, a fairy actually flies over oh. to you. They're oh. larger than pixies, um, with a, uh, with an apron on, wearing a cute little a painter's cap, um, carrying, um, a palette of paint with a tiny little brush and begins to apply a single application of magic face paint to you. Mm. Um... The uh, you gain the benefit of disguise self spell that lasts for one hour uh, until you choose to end it, and you can turn it on whenever you want to. <clears throat> oh, disguise self in what way? It's the disguise spell self spell. Oh, so the the paint goes on and it makes you look like a. Um, it makes can I be you... a mouse? Yeah, it makes you look like a mouse, but the moment she's done applying it, it's it becomes invisible on your face. Oh. It is there the moment you activate it, you will have mouse face paint for one hour, but you can disguise yourself however you want to with the spell. Oh, fair enough. Oh, taxidermy <laughs> wins! Taxidermy Yay. wins! Yay! Woo. Good job! Yay! Yay. We all won! Good job! Good, good Jim, job. Jim slowly like gets up from the ground. You can see like twists to hide his crotch, and it was like. But anyway, it was good to see you, Gricko. Yeah, and he yeah, turns yeah, and yeah, walks yeah. away. I don't look him in the eye. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't look you in the eye either. Yeah, 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 yeah it's good, it's to, good, see good to see you. Good to see you, bro. Good to see you, bro. Just a couple of bros being bros. Have fun in your guys' night. Like totally cool guys' night. Completely, you know. Uh, yeah. Just like platonic friends. Uh. <clears throat> You All right, it's time to go, right? Yeah, well, before <laughs> you go, Gideon, your taxidermied mouth of a friend, Thingle, <laughs> she looks like she was from you taxidermied with the skin mounting method. <laughs> reading about taxidermy right now. Are As you? if a mouse was freshly skinned, it's fast methodically. Scraped off of the underside of its hide, <laughs> and then rubbed with borax or cedar dust to help it dry faster. 
And then it's as if that enchanting mouse was stuffed with cotton and sewn up. It's... It's perfection. It's a magnificent mouse. She has earned the name Taxidermy. Thanks, Chuckles. Well, if you just saw the earlier display, you would know that he is very well spoken for by Jim. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, we have one final contestant ready to go. One no, Creme no. La Crew. Uh, can I get a refund on my punch? Uh, I really, there are no unpunches. Get in the ring. The mood's kind of over, and I don't want to get in the mud pit with two goblins. If you're <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds like a euphemism. You start. You start to feel the overall mood of the carnival start to lower oh, as you fine. decline to get. Stuff. <laughs> Just make it quick, fellas. <laughs> I, I, I go like, oh, Grammy, you can do it. Around. Good job, Grammy. You, you it, watch as two, in- as two incredibly buff goblins <laughs> make their way in. You're used to goblins being about three ish feet tall, they're probably about four and a half, and they look like they've been doing power lifting since the day they were born. I probably deserve this. <laughs> Gods, I wish that were me. <laughs> uh, so as you walk in, you see um, you see a hush fall over the crowd as Kremi, his tiny little body, walks forward towards these goblins. In the in the blue corner, we've got Mister Kremi Lacrue dressed as a dead woman, and in the red corner, <laughs> and in the gr- the red corner, we have Ma and Cho. Oh, I get it. See my gore makeup? Is it realist? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I believe they call this Revenge of the Carnies. <laughs> oh, athletics for me, yes. right? <clears throat> Eleven. Oh. <laughs> Just make it quick. You walk up. And you swing as Ma jumps onto Cho's head and leaps over you. They attack you from both sides and beat the living <laughs> shit out of you. Suplex. <laughs> they double <laughs> suplex you. You are swollen. You look like you've been stung by a hundred bees. Uh, give me left the- oh, 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 oh! My snow oh. like breaks <laughs> You're getting juggled by the ice climbers. <laughs> I'm feeling juggled. Yeah, 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 yeah. oh, well, that was an unfortunate match. Not all of them could be successful. Uh, somebody get him to a doctor. Uh, how bad is it, Gear? Oh, well, it ain't good. How yeah. bad is it? <laughs> yeah. just say, you're going to need to reapply your mustache. Oh, you're right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it feels better. Why don't you put your hat back on, buddy? Oh, yeah. uh, is that good? Is that uh, yeah. I, you does know. it look asymmetrical with my snout? <laughs> it does look asymmetrical. You look really nice, Crummy. Uh, you look really, really nice. Um, is that supposed to be? <laughs> Instead of Stiletta, they should call him Luggage. <laughs> <laughs> Cut so an alligator. <laughs> that one was pretty good. Oh, I, it's not, it's not relevant to you. He wasn't oh. talking about you. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> as long as you're talking about me, you don't. Yeah, no, he wasn't talking about you. I think he was making a reference to something totally unrelated. Oh yeah, yeah. probably. Prob- yeah. prob- oh yeah, who? Yeah. Oh, uh, Chuckles. I don't oh, think he knew who I yeah. was. Oh, like, just. Gideon have imaginary friends too? No, I'm, I'm haunted by a past murdered clown specifically. <laughs> yeah, it's not really friends. I didn't even know him. But sure. No, I didn't even yeah. like him for sure. Yeah. I mean, really, I didn't know him enough to have strong yeah. opinions on him. Uh. Only the really time I heard him make any noises was when he was freaking out in the grass. <laughs> you know, I had to take him away. He wouldn't yeah. stop laughing. Yeah. So uh, you know. We and the other one. I yeah, no, he, he was. He was. Uh, <clears throat> well, he was always chuckles, but then he chuckled until he died. Do you remember that? Oh, you guys told me that Chuckles retired. <laughs> oh, oh, the farm, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. 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 Oh
Brown. No, he's yeah. not dead. No, he's not dead. Yeah, and I did murder him. Guy's yeah. not. Guy's not. Uh, it's Guy's yeah. not. Guy's not. Guy's not. It's at this moment that you hear, hey, you. Yeah, you, Torbeck. You remember Torbeck's name? And as you turn around, you see one very angry pixie as she's looking at you. How dare you stand me up? And she tosses a drink into your face. And that is where we'll end the session. No! <laughs> Got it, Oh, oh my God. That was an amazing session, you guys. Welcome I'm really Andy. proud of you. Welcome, Andy. Andy. Oh, Actually, okay, oh, can, can we give a big gotta give it up to Andy give for coming in to Feywild and being able yeah. to handle that absolute yeah. madness? I appreciate uh, I appreciate the invite. Seriously, I'm happy to be here. That was It was what's wonderful having you at the table. Thank you. We're not done yet. Andy, what's next? Next, we got Adventures and Chill, which is after every stream session of D&D that we do, we do an extra special segment afterwards where we talk about our favorite moments, uh, we theorize about what might happen uh, next week, and most importantly, we answer all of your questions and comments, so don't go anywhere. Yeah, I retired to a pig's colon. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Jesus! <laughs> oh boy, well. Why? Well, and if you're not sticking around for Vantress and Chill, we'll be back next Wednesday. Uh, Vantress and Chill is subscriber oh, only. Ah, that's a good point. So, it, so yes. Is it? it yeah. Is. yeah. Okay. So, We've reactivated. We've reignited. Uh, go ahead, Andy. So, very, very long story made very, very short. Uh, we originally introduced Adventures and Chill as a subscriber-only perk. It was one of the th- subscriber, uh, subscriber and patron perks. Patron. It was one of the ways that we wanted to just give back to uh, you know the people who support us, you know, month in and month out. Um, so then we lost it because of, of COVID and all that stuff, and not streaming. You have to stream for a certain amount of time. So apparently now, after I've asked and asked and asked every single time I've talked about what Adventures and Chill is, we now have the ability to subscriber-only streams. So if you are on the fence about subscribing. There is still time in September, right? Okay, to get some off your sub, more off if it's three or six months, and then you too can join us for Avantress and Chill. And you do get like a five minute preview, so if you've never seen Avantress and Chill before, you get a little bit of preview to see if it's something that you like, but it is something that we started doing for our subs and we're glad to bring it back for subs. For patrons, and if you are a patron and you do not have a little dime next to your name, let me know, and I will give you a VIP status, which will let you view the stream as well. Oh. Um, and, uh, I see. Uh, so for those that aren't sticking around, we'll be back next Wednesday with uh, more Wild Beyond the Witchlight, or Once Upon a Witchlight. Once Upon a Witchlight, yeah. So come and hang out with us next Wednesday. Yeah, um, we'll be back same time, same place. Yep. Yep. So I'm going to go cut over. Yeah. Uh, we'll cut over. Yeah, we're we're actually cutting we're over. So shit. thank you, everyone, for being here with us. We yeah. really, really we appreciate really, you. We really appreciate you guys. You are absolutely, absolutely wonderful night. and the best. What a wonderful, wonderful evening. Oh, my God. Uh, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Yep. yep. Love Bye-bye. you.